Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Reno 300 speaking, I hope all of y'all enjoyed the previous video, I know I enjoyed making it for all of you. whoops, um, previous video we actually did a lot, um, if I can remember the quests we did real quick, so first off we repaired the town, you remember that town where it's like part one, part two, we also did clouds leave no trace, the dragon returns home, wrath, mi mirage, and those are the quests we did in this um, video. We shall try and do three different quests. I think it's a Trailblazer quest, um, a daily, and a companion. But who knows? We could do the prologue as well today. Never know. Damn, I was supposed to do something. Um, <laughs> there we are. I'm just opening up Twitch on my phone, it's just needing some update. Um, yes. Yep. You brought in charge of the cloud lights? I don't believe you. <laughs> so it's today, for well, me, eyes shot for so young. You can only agree to chat. Hello. And. Welcome. Um, Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. So, yes, we got. Oh, looks like we have a daily companion and a travel blaze. Right, let's get going. Moderator's not here yet. Okay. Hello, everyone. See, there's two people here. Hola. Oh, wait a minute. Let's quickly do the other things. Oh, my face. Okay. Did I just open up my browser? I did treat. Uh, what is this? I'm looking at something coming out of the screen. Ooh. If you see that music, that's not from the game. Would you take this guy? Wait, no. Junior N. Black Swan. Sparkle. Misha. Nenpang. Vibula Yume. Okay, let's start with the one I really want. Hmm. A little bit laggy. It's crashed. Oh, it's yeah. It has definitely crashed. And there it goes. Yep, 
Okay. I'll have to check that later, I guess. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of things that I don't know is necessary. So much CPU so Oh my gosh. Okay, um. Let's go. I have no interest in commenting on the deeds and sins of Imbibitor Lune. Given the choice, I would like to cast his name aside. Even so, the consequences of his power will be borne by me alone. Okay, uh, I will have to close some. I'm gonna get some memory here. Man, that's still you. Why is it using so much? What is the problem here? The math ain't mathing. does not equal up to 100. Okay. Yes. Come on. It's struggling. Okay. I should be getting a new PC soon, okay? First off, looks like a new city is going to be happening. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The Black Swan. The day I became a mimetic entity, I saw my own corporeal body dissolve. People's memories precipitating, crystallizing, and then shattering in the flow of time. They gleamed with such brilliance, as if they were crystals with boundless facets. It was in that moment Still I grasped <laughs> that everything is transient, but memories are eternal. You done yet? Okay. Because I can't check the videos. An abandoned orphan. A cursed little girl. The last descendant of the puppet clan. I can tailor it to the tastes of the individual. I'm going to work really hard so I can save up and explore the stars. Just like grown-ups do. Yes, what is this? 3D model. Ooh. I already know this guy's 3D model. Already know. Don't know this one. Ooh, I like the coat thing. That's cool. So a short character. Nah, the hair don't go. Well. Kinda of looks like Amber. Or like Young Fair. I'm going to work uh -oh. I often cat like an conductor. <laughs> this is so good. Um
Uh, just a second. Um, what is that? Uh, speed test? I think it's yes. Here we go. Right, before we like fully go into this, let's shape and speed A. It's still connecting some of the lab. Yes, Tess. Okay, does it look like it's lagging? But I'm usually down here during the 90s. Okay, that's not good. Let's I guess. Oh, I'm pushing 16 as well. That, that should be good. Okay, that actually does better than usual. Nice. Right, let's no. Let's load it up. So, let's hope this doesn't crash everything. Well, I can't wait until I get a better PC as well. After I get that, then I'll be able to have all of that open without it being loud. Right, it's here. Wait, is it showing? Yes. Should be. There we are. Looks like we're gonna get them new people. <laughs> Welcome, Zero! Glad to see you here. You just missed something. I just did the version info thing. And I was actually able to do it. You missed it. Yeah, really. That, that's what we just saw. Um, of one dreams at midnight. Looking. Okay. That's all good. Oh, survey. Need them credits. Need them credits. Okay. Sorry, everyone. You shall not know any of this information. Um, we satisfied. Um, okay, background. This one. Control, enjoy the mechanics, yeah. Oh, okay. You were lurking before. Um, that, that. Okay, so you saw it then. Just a moment. Just doing the survey thing. Sorry, all of you are in the dark. I should I really need like a picture thing there. <laughs> Um, okay, um, communicating the rules communicatively. Okay, it's like all that apply. Yeah, I think you can see all of this. It doesn't have any personal information. Mm 
feel about the following gameplay nurturing additions? Satisfied. Neutral. Satisfied. Yeah. Ones in their creations of suggestions. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm satisfied because I didn't get everything. <laughs> Fun of a level. Yeah. Professionals in there. Well, I'll say nature, I rolled difficulty. Difficulty was good. Event rewards, yes. Time. I guess, yes. Virtual events, thing. The BS set aside by. Satisfied. Satisfied with that one because I did actually do quite good, I believe. I haven't really done that. <laughs> so I do that. Current version. I don't remember that. So many of you guys go views. Can't answer. I haven't done it yet. No. All good. Yeah. I'm going to check it out. Event period. Oh, I'm going to miss that. Wait, 26? That's today. That's today! Oh. What? I'm going to lag out. I promise I am going to lag out right now. Reserve, I guess. Goodbye. Verification code because she's not allowed to see my Gmail. <laughs> oh, I don't have access to that account right now. Yeah. Um, other no. Oh, I got the hiccups, I ate too much for me. Um, there we are. Okay. Here we go. There are codes. Wait, there's a check-in thing? Wait, what? Um... What is this? I guess it's a um... Oh, whoa, okay. We'll do that later. Something else I need to do on this stream as well. Uh, just.
my roommate came in. Oh, well, not really my roommate, my little, little brother. Little, little brother. Oh! What's this? Oh, never mind. I was very happy for some reason. Um, redeem codes. Okay, so I got some codes here that I can redeem. TT9S28LK4QHP. Nice. Um, you got E A eight B K R K R four J L nine three T. That's good. That's the a hundred each. Ooh. And then you got L. C Q A two Q five two four nine K F. All successful. All a hundred each with all different things. That's cool. That is very good because we have a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a uh, gosh minute. I only have two on that, that's okay. How much can I get? 31! Well, actually 30. So I'm using one of them. Let's see what our luck shall be today. Oh, hello three people. I see everyone here, and Eon? Oh no, not an Eon. I was gonna say Eros, whoops. Uh, there we are, um... What were we doing again? Oh yes, this mission. Uh, anything else? No. Bat him in the face. A lost shot out of tears. Spirit never dies. The wind is rough. From the boat. You want to keep destroying that shutter. You could have surrendered. Um. Rules are made to be broken. Ready? Attack one. Attack two. Attack three. What's your deal with this character, eh? No one in this is a Mars struck. Spirit never dies. You could have surrendered. So, but I kind of took that personally, and I'm not letting you damage my character again. I know it's a bit overkill, but still. Right here. Reach the end of the story in your own. That's our break rule. There we are. Well, and after doing our daily, we shall have all of that complete. Dum 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 Yeah. Shall I put me by? Excuse me, where am I? Oh, I should try to be now. That would have been quite better than this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can actually get better relics for my characters now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to find you and bat you in the face. Rules oh, you want to do that now? You want to do that now? Boom. Oh, I like it. You could have surrendered. Let's make it quick. I can do this. Destroyed. Destroyed. Actually, I'll do that. And because they're gonna die anyway. Right, the end of the story in your own way. Um, nice. The water boom players. Right. So you're gonna basically be lurking this in uh, this whole stream. Um, zero. Is that what you were gonna be? That is that what you plan to do? Mm. It doesn't puzzle me by as well. Oh, the bird is turning. Mm. Uh, I believe I can do this. Right now, I'm just going to look at it. Well, I'm just silly, aren't I? Get that there and that there. It's not like letting this work in my head. Shall be very simple for a lot of you, but this is not letting me. <laughs> not letting me at all. Right. 
out of here. Um, my stream seems to be lagging on my other screen. Okay. Seems not be anymore. Okay. Bringing some sharp turns here. True battle. Uh, we'll get there. You could have surrendered. This is our chance. Down. Scared. Straight put. Spirit never. Perfecto. Uh, not really giving me anything. You admit no illness is a Marstruck. I got guns. Perfect. Again. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Cool. Why not? Why not? Could have surrendered. This is our chance. Stay the course. It's tough. Demolished, I tell you. Come on, let's keep flying. All right. Yeah, as I said earlier, we ought to upgrade our um, relics for our characters from the GPC. Spencer, there, fire build, play game, you know. But this one's here. Yeah, yeah attacking a lot of like good one. So you can just crit rate very good. Sure, he. Start. Match HP. Mm. Oh, no, that's like the foot break. Oh, it's just, okay. It could be better. All artifacts could be better, technically. Every artifact could be better, every artifact can be worse, every artifact can be anything. Um. Did I just... What? Did I accidentally just accept another quest? I did too! Look at this. Make a The boss may be not sure. Uh, let me go get a pen and paper. Thirty five. Five, 
By the way, this will be another five hour episode. That's unless we complete all the all the things. Well then I'll just do some messing around. I am extremely busy of late. If you have something to ask of me, do not delay. Uh, you were about to say something along the lines of, How did you know I wanted to ask something? But then you remembered who you were talking to and decided not to bother, correct? The <laughs> face is not a reliable instrument of divination. On the contrary, I run a dozen hexagrams before I even get around to breakfast. The results are never far wrong. Today's divinations threw up some unexpected complications. The hexagramatic position was facilitating between the water and heaven trigrams. The matrix of prescience gave the following interpretation. You will have three uninvited guests. This is ultimately auspicious. Ultimately auspicious? Wow, sounds pretty good to me. Seems like we really were destined to meet today then. You know, I see you've been using the Matrix of Prescience to divine into Kafka's past. Well... Hmm, I see. You wish to use the Matrix to relive the past and awaken parts of your memory? Viable. <sighs> I knew it. Oops. Things are never simple, are they? Who, who said that? I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was viable in principle. There is a gap of a million light years between impossibility and viability. I feel I must explain in detail the principles behind the Divination Commission's ultimate weapon to avoid any misunderstandings. The Matrix of Prescience does not allow one to remember anything. It merely collects data in order to infer past events, in the same way that future events are inferred. Just as Realm Keeping Commission officers collect forensic evidence to recreate the scene of a crime, there are materials from which we can infer the past. These may be items related to the experience, or memories of the people involved. Miss March's predicament is very different from Kafka's situation, because she doesn't remember what happened in her past. I am no medical professional, but fortunately I'm very fond of reading. We understand that there are two types of memory loss. One, where the memories remain dormant, floating around in the unconsciousness unable to be awakened. And another, that involves direct erasure of memories from the brain. Uh, who would do such a horrible mean thing? Okay, Why I see there's going the to be prescience to determine which situation pertains to Miss March. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be good cuz we're going to get a massive storyline and lore on um on March 7th, I believe. Let's begin then by preparing the requisite inference materials. Miss March, your memory is unreliable. To guarantee the Matrix's accuracy, you'll have to provide... When you're ready, come and find me in the Matrix core. Uh, the Diviner said I need to provide something from my past experiences. It's a second. Sorry, I'm like listing things in a notebook for chapters and stuff. Hmm, what should it be? How about a Sienjo souvenir? One zero one zero one zero is the way. Do we not have anything? Okay. Hmm, wait a minute. Let's go to the troll car, teleport here, because that's closer to the rooms. Never mind, that's closer to the rooms. Wait, what is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, passenger cabin. Let's see if there's anything in March's room. 
So, have you acquired something from your past? As a nameless, surely you must have souvenirs from your journeys that could evoke memories. I've got lots. It's just, I don't know what to choose. It's a Before we switch into the stop, stay. No, I'm not stuck. Seriously? Good. This is a really dark thing. So shiny and pretty. I picked up this little. Well, how could something so beautiful be unsafe? Ah, uh, look at everything in this world. The prettiest snakes are the most venomous. The prettiest frogs are the most poisonous. They're the best looking animals like lions, lionesses, tigers. They're all deadly. But yet, um, what's the word for it? What the word? What the world? Not glamorous. <laughs> Yeah, I can understand the young girl's fondness for glittering gemstones. Ah, proof that I boarded the express. The conductor gave me this. Oh, I got a bunch of this. Memories from the Astral Express. That should do the trick. One of my fondest memories. <laughs> no comments. I happen to prefer Star Taro bubble tea. Is that mean? Miss March, are you not able to provide possessions from before you lost your memory? Uh, before I lost my memory? So, something I don't remember getting? Even then, I couldn't be sure it was from before I lost my memory, right? It may be strange to you, but to infer the past, I need materials that were pertinent at that time. Could you try recalling some memories again? From before the memory loss. Before the express. I'm sorry, mm. Master Diviner. When Himeko found me in the ice, I was stark naked. Like a newborn baby. I didn't have any items with me. Damn. And before you ask, no, I don't have any of that ice lying around. It melted away not long after I was rescued. Oh, yeah! You sure are a smart cookie. My six-phase ice ability must date from before the memory loss. Master Diviner, any ice I create should do, right? It should indeed. I'll have someone place the material in the base of the terminal of the Matrix. Miss March, please position yourself in the Matrix core. We may begin our inference whenever you are ready. Cool. About to get a bunch of good screenshots, aren't I? Oh, will it fail? Probably will. It can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. It never is. The Matrix has clear diagnostics. Miss March, are you ready yet? Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be. Almost kind of ready to go. Please be prepared. Not all memories are suitable for reawakening. People carry with them much pain and suffering. If you're not ready, we can pause the inference process. I would never wish for good intentions to result in harm. Uh, I'm okay. Let's do it. Only way to find out is to give it a go. Very well. I will soon connect you to the Matrix of Prescience Ultima, where the Matrix will read your memories and guide you back into your past. 
If you reach a block in your memory, the Matrix will use the data gathered to derive a scenario and construct a possible past for you. Got it. Oh, um, can she join me too? I'm sorry, that would be highly inadvisable. You form the nexus of the Matrix's inference. She would only introduce redundant data to the system. In other words, inside the memory palace that the Matrix constructs, the only person you'll be able to count on is yourself. Okay. Don't worry. I can communicate with you from outside the Matrix and manipulate the recollection process to a certain extent. Let's begin. Ooh. Introduction here, long life great gave birth to eternal memories within which contains endless agony. Here survival instincts consider concern considered com I don't know how to say that word. Memories within which contains endless sorrow. Here, the accumulation of wisdom bred memories of plenty, with which contains endless searches. Here, the blank of blank nurtured blank memories within which contains blank, and where monsters shatter, nothing exists. Ooh. Must include her. Oh, and it's quantum too. Perfect. Although I would have liked um March to be in this stuff, but that's okay. Wait a minute. There are some ice, but not not enough. This will be the first time I play with this character. Probably the last as well. The Matrix of Prescience has reconstructed your past. Before you is a space generated from the memories and items you provided as raw materials. That's me! Are you okay, Miss March? I'm good. Everything seems normal. You have a strong constitution. Most individuals feel nauseous after being presented with a dizzying excess of information provided by the Matrix. Yep. Oh, I must be seeing things. Why are there two Fushens here? This is so Your eyes are working just fine. One of the Fushwens is a projection of me which allows us to communicate with each other at all times. The other Fushuan indicates that I existed during this part of your experience. What experience is this? It looks like the healer's market. I know her. That's... That's Cheng Yun. Am I correct? I think. Look, she's alive. That's March. Uh, that's me. This Moon 300. That's... forgot the name, but the commander. Unless I'm mistaken. This must be the time we broke into the Alchemy Commission. Really? Uh, that can't be right. I remember there were lots of Cloud Knights in the plot. Well, this is just a Matrix inference, remember? Distortions are possible. Although, the scale of this distortion is surprising. Try communicating with the Fu Xuan you see over there. We should hear what the Master Diviner has to say. Uh, this is definitely a scene in a ha. Yes. Indeed. Hold up. I actually should kind of delete a lot of my screenshots. Because they're taking up how to make computer stuff. Yeah, screenshots. <laughs> All these memories, all them straight up with you. Make the hole, the ball, 
Marion. Ah, oh, but someone that I'd like want to get rid of. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of a certain now. Just a second, everybody. Sorry for the delay. Just gonna get rid of a certain portion. Don't be careful. Uh, oh, whoops. Should that make it go back instead? Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Oh, he's stuck in the touch sheet computer. The boots. Okay. Yep, I'm okay to leave. Yep, my moon's right here as well. Okay, oh good. Miss Fu Xuan, if we want to resolve the Stellaron crisis, we right. must refine the question. What is the crux of the problem? Generally, it is believed that when one seizes on the crux of a problem, the problem will split open like bamboo on the edge of a knife. Nobody could have foreseen the catalyzing effect of the Stellaron on the Ambrosial Arbor. As the ancients said, blessings bring about misfortune and vice versa. Nature has its own algorithm, and it is precisely when fate wins betwixt blessing and misfortune that I, a master diviner of masterful proportions, am called on to save the people of the La Fu. What the heck is she talking about? Master Diviner, did you actually say that at the time? I can't remember. It would appear that in Miss March's estimation, I'm somewhat of a... blabbermouth. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, I've always seen you as the... Uh, um, masterful Master Diviner. <laughs> Despite the obvious distortions in this experience, the base materials from which it is composed are taken from your actual memory. There is no falsehood here. In other words, your subconscious mind thinks that I... talk in tongue twisters. <laughs> uh... It's mainly just that I, uh... can't always comprehend the... lofty ideals and, um... principles you discuss. Forget it. Now is not the time for losing one's temper. If the inverted is distorted, we should focus on filtering out each distortion one by one. Otherwise, we won't be able to trace your memories back any further. Um, this is getting a little complicated. Is there a similar explanation? <sighs> Draw your bow and fire an arrow at that Fu Xuan. Kill her real quick. I'm fighting? Ooh. I want to see this ability. Ooh. Okay, that was good. Thanks. This is our chance. Um. These are devils. I'll crush them all. Rules are made to be broken. Alright, there is to you then. The wind is rising. Boom! Get you. From the boat! Boom. Decent damage, actually. Let's go! <laughs> that freaked me out. I don't like people suddenly deciding to fight me. Now, let's see who's here. Jing Yun. Yun, Welt, General Jing Yuan. I do remember. And also her. Well, I don't have to fight all of them, right? 
The Master Diviner was easy peasy, but I don't think I could take General Jing Yuan. Easy peasy? <laughs> the interference factor creating the distortion here should only have one source. That is, the person present who shouldn't be. So I have to pick someone and clear them of interference? Exactly. My projection will disappear for the moment so as to not cloud your judgment. If you can hear my voice, then it means I'm watching over you. You're the best, Master Diviner. <laughs> I hope the best version of me can overwrite the gloriously absurd version that lives in your subconsciousness. <laughs> the person present who shouldn't be. Who could that be? Ching Yung, Ching Yung, Ching Yung. Roll up, roll up! Miss March, would you like to take a look at the latest edition of the Sienjo Beauty Index? The chance of drawing a Law Fu Playboy card is super high right now. Miss Ting Yoon, it's great to see you so happy, but I can't help feeling a little sad. The past is in the past. What is there to feel sad about? Live every day as if it were your last. Don't be sad. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Hey, it's fine if you don't want to talk in real life, but this is my memory, so it's my rules. Come on, say something. Something. <laughs> Seriously? We have similar recollections of her. Seriously? Leave your memories in the past. They have no place in the present. Did you hear that, Master Diviner? Now she's talking weird. Wait a minute. Wait, no, she's hey. talking to me. Hey, something. Dear, we have. Leave your. Did you hear that? Mm, Mr. Yang, so. hi there. March, get ready. The next fight is going to be very dangerous. Yeah, it sounds like huh? him. Which next fight? Stay focused. Fantilia is headed for the Ambrosial Arbor. If we don't stop the Lord Ravager, it'll be a catastrophe. Yeah, that sounds correct. Okay, all right. Got it. Another thing. The future is what's most important for us. Don't you agree, March? What? Dwelling on memories can numb your sense of the present and inhibit future ambitions. Miss Fushen, do people in memories always say weird stuff like this? The distortions we are experiencing are unorthodox. Must we clear all the wrong options? It's called perfectionism. Everything's just gone. <laughs> okay, um. I'm just a real part of the... You. General, hello! General? Uh, General Jing Yuan? Uh, Jing Yuan? Uh, what's his deal? Who falls asleep standing up anyway? This is clearly your subconscious projecting onto the general. Uh, I remember now. The general wasn't there when we broke in... March 7. Ah! Whoa. You scared me! Why'd you wake up so suddenly? Are you not satisfied with your life as it is? I... I'm satisfied. Then why are you obsessing over the past? Oh, damn. All things human creations! <laughs> we came together. Two down, two down. I repeat, two down. And awaken. Stay the course. All right, left. Let's make it quick. Sense shooting. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. You're on sun. A quick divination. Take that down. Okay, one down. Revive. Rules are made to be broken. Minimum damage token. Take them out. As easy as that. Turn enough remaining. Get that. Okay, another one down. Should have been action as well, yes. 
Your chance to lose. Uh, do I also need to send you a diary? Uh, uh, no. An, an English, um, an English, what do you call it? Dictionary as well? Yes, I am using two sound. What is that? Uh, I know what this is. It's a Bellabog heater. Wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. What's a Bellabog heater doing at the healer's market? Why is that censored? Why is it censored? Looks like part of one experience has infiltrated another. A foreign object, so to speak. A foreign object? That sounds like a medical issue. Will it require surgery? No. I believe the object is a sign of the Matrix purging distortion. Make contact with the object. Let's see if we can jump over into that experience. Ooh. Bro. She's sure compared to my character. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's taller. That's not just me, Rob. She's taller. She's taller. See that? Hmm. Okay. Anything that is not a match with your own I've seen that name somewhere on the astral charts. There are many similar star systems on the San Joe trade routes. Unfortunately, all of them lost contact after the appearance of the Antimatter Legion. Yes, Bellabog. Yeah, Bellabog is a kind of snowy doomsday city. Okay. There are heaters like this all over the place. Otherwise, people wouldn't survive. Uh, please say this isn't going to be a war zone when we go in there. Come on, Master Diviner. I'll give you a whirlwind tour of Bellabog. <laughs> Touch it far and I'm good. Uh, is touching a heater a good idea? This thing is red hot. It's okay. This is a memory space. If something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. Well, I was never beaten up by Jing Yuan in reality either. Enough of that. Touch it. Uh, hey, don't pull on my hand. I. Ow, ow, ow! Hot, hot, hot! It's a Okay. That's good to know. Although I would have loved to see the animation. That thing was flaming hot. You said things that never happened to me in reality couldn't happen here. I said that if something hasn't injured you in reality, then it cannot injure you in memory. I didn't say anything about the sensation of injury. So this is Bellabog. I was expecting it to be cold. Which went inside. Oh, it's freezing. What? Master Diviner, aren't you cold? I can't stop shivering. Hmm. Most likely a result of me never having experienced true cold. I'm afraid you'll have to do the shivering by yourself. <laughs> On the Lofu, you and I have shared experiences. And so I was able to provide more active assistance. But in Bellabog, You'll have to rely on your own judgment to ascertain the source of distortion and get the foreign object to appear. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, Miss March, I have one more thing to ask. Have you ever experienced great suffering? Uh, probably. Uh, what? I don't think so. Why are you suddenly asking me that? Sometimes people forget extreme memories to protect themselves from suffering. Perhaps you didn't notice, but in your memories of the Lofu, everyone you met was either hinting or explicitly stating that you should stop trying to remember. I believe this is most likely your subconscious communicating with you directly. Though, of course, we cannot rule out that external forces may have interfered with your memory. In the latter case, 
It is possible that someone decided to leave warnings in your subconscious to prevent you from recalling the truth. Am I really that important to someone? I don't think there's anyone who'd go to all the trouble of locking up my memories. And yet, memories are precisely what you seek, no? Hmm. I say this to say one thing. Are you certain you wish to continue exploring your memories? You said external forces might be messing with my head, right? That just makes me more curious. No one gets away with locking up my memories. Let's go. I'll show you the way to Goethe Hotel. <laughs> Very well. I must admit that I'm finding the whole matter more interesting by the minute. This memory should be from the first day we arrived in Bellabog. By the second day, we were wanted criminals already. The person present who shouldn't be. Who could it be? Wow. <laughs> you should never really help for a child. Well, technically, all of them can be here. Excuse me? You're not supposed to be there. Shh. Damn, too. Miss March! Long time. Uh, the Sampo Hotel? This is Goethe Hotel. Was Goethe Hotel. <laughs> now it's the Sampo Hotel. Yeah. In the autumn of his years, old Goethe got too old to run this place, so he handed it down to his most trusted young confidant, Sampo Kaski. And before you get the wrong idea, there was zero trickery involved. This was a cherished agreement between gentlemen. You see, El Goethe and I chose to face the future instead of clinging to memories of the past. You should do the same, March. This blue-haired fellow has an air of deceit about him every time he opens his mouth. Yes. <laughs> you don't need a jade abacus to get a feel for Sampo. Clear that immediately. <laughs> Japan March seventh. Welcome to the Sampo Hotel. No, you're not. I'm Japard, the security here. Why would hotel security need to be armed to the teeth? Is there great lawlessness in Bellabog? Uh, no, no, no. Japard is a captain of the Silvermane Guards, just like how the Lafu has its own Cloud Knights captains. I have no idea what he's doing running security at a hotel like this, though. It isn't so surprising. In attempting to pursue the rational, we piece together the unrelated. The result is a seemingly meaningful fantasy. A fantasy called life. Excuse me, Miss March. Do you need anything? If there's nothing else, please let me get back to my duty. Also, allow me to remind you. You cannot change the past. The future is all that's left for you. Hmm, that actually does feel like something he would say. Discussion. The tea service at Goethe Hotel is first class, especially this whale tide spring. They she did the architect once used the nice. preservation's power to make camellias bloom on the snow plains, and that this tea is made from those leaves. Whale tide spring. Isn't that a variety of Sienjo tea? My brain must be filling in the blanks. Probably because I never drank any famous tea in Bellabog. So bitter! Yuck! Boy, that's silly! Bitter tea is good for your health. Ugh. Bitter is bitter! If it tastes like that, it doesn't really matter how good for you it is. There's an old saying in Bellabog, Blessed is he who can eat the bitterest of bitter. These experiences are becoming increasingly distorted. Seems like my subconscious mind has no talent for screenwriting. I'm not sure your conscious mind does either. Uh, I'm not denying it. Uh, what an excellent cup of tea. It's a pity not everyone can appreciate its beauty, much like the gift of forgetting, Miss March. It's uh, bitter at first, but with a gentle aftertaste. Hmm, this Branya is... Really different from the Branya I remember. Same here. Of that's distorting this experience. It's nearby. Do you have to make it sound all scary? Rest easy. I can guarantee your safety while you're inside the Matrix of Prescience. 
Long time no see, Zila. March? Long time no see. How's everything been going since you left Bellabog? The Express never looked back. It headed straight for the other end of the galaxy. Because that was its fate. The same goes for us. We can't return to the past. March, don't dwell on the past. It won't do you any good. Trust me. Uh, got it? These warnings are ongoing. The situation is becoming stranger by the minute. It sure is. Uh, let's press on and see what awaits. I remember our second day in Bellabog was mostly us being hunted down by Silvermane guards. We didn't meet Zila until way later. Which means... Zila shouldn't be appearing in this memory. She's the source of Ready the interference. Him. In which case, we must eliminate her. Seems like you him. don't trust me. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just... An answer is not required. She's merely a mirage hindering your progress. I've already done them. I already done them. Previously. Right before. And you asked before. I just did them. I understand. I got Let's 100 from each. I got 100 Primo Gems. Four fine books, I think. 100 Primo Gems. Four of the other purple one. And I got 100 Primo Gems. And five, 40, five, 50,000. Um, 50,000 and other things. A quick divination. Together as one. The wind is rising. Both. Out of here. All things in this human creation. I can do this. Kill force. Let's make up. There we are. What's this? Let me see. Developed on Herta Space Station. That's not here. It seems like this must be the foreign object. The next experience should be meeting her for the first time. Herta Space Station. Yes, but here. Welcome to the Sample Hotel, Miss March. The Sample Hotel used to be called the Goethe Hotel. After old Goethe retired, Sampo managed to trick his way into acquiring this place, and renamed it after himself. Luckily, the high-quality service of the hotel remains undiminished. It's still the best place to stay in the administrative district. I should mention, the Sampo Hotel's new slogan is, Don't think about the past. Strive for Seriously? the future. Sounds like the kind of ad copy that Miss March would like. This girl seems quite trustworthy. Uh, that's just the work of my subconscious mind. That's actually pretty cool. See what happens. This sure one looks like it's right out there. Shame we didn't get to see the stunning vistas of the snow plains. This hotel lobby must have left a deep impression on you. Yes. Well, waking up after a great sleep in a comfy bed to find out you're a wanted criminal tends to leave a deep impression. Let's Indeed. move on to the next stop. Uh, I mean, the last stop. Let's go. So long as you're ready. Uh, I'll take a monitor over a red hot heater any day. March, wake up. We have to hurry. Huh? Are we going? What about Miss Fu Xuan? Fu Xuan? Who's that? And there's no time for daydreaming. The space station is in crisis. Uh huh? What do you mean? Come with me. Asta said that the Stellaron is stored in that room up ahead. And I'm guessing the Legion might also be interested in its whereabouts. I don't care what you're gonna say. I, I don't care what you're gonna say. Don Hung, where are you, Master Diviner? Can you hear me? Oh, darn it, something must have gone wrong. What am I gonna do? Why did Miss Fu Xuan pick the scariest time to vanish? I got the spotlight, don't you see? But what is the spotlight coming from? The roof? No. 
Is that a light over there? It like literally looks like something's open. March. Can you I'm getting more and more evidence that your memories have suffered interference. But I don't know where from. <sighs> looks like I'll have to do it by myself this time. Like whoa. Yeah, but where is this light coming from? It lights up the whole character. It's projecting that way, but there is no windows. March, have you forgotten your past experiences? Surely your bow there is enough evidence for you. You were once a galaxy ranger, engaged in a bitter fighting battle with the remnants of the swarm. You rescued a planet in the Emerald System that was about to be swallowed by a black hole smashing through Dr. Primitive's carefully laid... You were severely wounded during the battle for Vonwalk. The leader of the Rangers encased you in ice to protect you and waited for you to recover. My bow? But Himeko made that for me. You're lying! Ooh. March 7th. One of the nameless aboard the Astral Express. After being picked up by Himiko, she was freed from the six-faced ice in which she was encased. She lost all memory of the past. Because she had no past to speak of, she was an eon, and eons have no past. From the moment Whoa. they ascend, the past and future of their existence becomes inundated by their past. Whoa, no March seventh's mistake was the loss of the authority of the eons. Could it be? That never even occurred. What's that gun thing? March, leave your memories in the past. Why do you insist on returning to them? If they were so important to you, wouldn't you have remembered them the moment a nameless boards the express? A new life begins. We set out on a new road, never to return. Explore. Trailblaze. But do not dwell on the past. Man. You'll tarnish the reputation of the nameless. I'm not that brutal, am I? Mm -hmm. Enough! You're not her! Nothing like her! She would never try and force me to give up something so important! I don't care who you are! Disappear right now and let me pass! And don't you ever pretend to be one of my friends again! All things in this world, human creations! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken! Heal up. Well, but we're all out safely. Um, this is where I first appeared. Right here. This path. Whoa, wait a minute. Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. This is the first time we met her. But she isn't here. Who are you? I don't remember you. 
I know her. I Did you am the messenger the of the Garden of Recollection. Miss March, please refrain from looking back upon your past. Would you like to enter the forgotten Leave floor? the Matrix of Prescience and return to reality. The past is not worth exploring. It will only hurt you. You're the one who needs to leave. I'm not letting this go. The Garden of Recollection? Did the Glow Sweater send you? Are you the one meddling with my observations? What do you want with this girl? No matter the nature of your intentions, stealing others' memories like this, deceiving them, blinding them, I cannot allow that to happen. <sighs> you leave me no choice but to resort to unconventional means. Miss March, this might feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to enter your memory world and help you clear out any obstacles. No matter. All things in this world have their laws. Ooh. Ooh, AOE attack. The wind is rising. Boat! From the boat! Rules are made to be broken. Use your devils! I'll crush them all! Our fortune is clouded. Together huh. as one, spirit never dies. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Ooh, what's this? Whoa, 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 nah, 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 I didn't check what that was. I think that's a talent. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I can do this. Converge and awaken. Human creations. No. I guess I can get rid of this guy then. Two targets now. Look at that. Damn. Stay the course. And that guy off on the second one. Okay. That was the last time I could do that. Are made to be broken. No. The mouse ain't working. I screw you. Okay. Again, defense. Definitely break you. Shwen. I promised I'd watch over you. Besides, I've been blessed by the Wisdom Walker. I will never tolerate efforts to impede the truth. That person said she was a messenger. The Garden of Recollection. Why would they come after me? Many members of the Garden have their own agenda. 
It's impossible to confirm anything from a cursory introduction. This is the Astral Express, no? It would seem that you're nearing the source. The Matrix of Prescience Ultima should start making further calculations soon. Do you remember where it was exactly that you were discovered? They set the ice down in one of the passenger cars. It ended up being my room. Then let's pass through this carriage and find your room. It's not going to be in that room, will it? Don Hung, let's crack open this ice block. Perhaps we can still save the girl inside. <laughs> not to harm her I've got this pom pom go and get the first aid kit going going gone this must be when the crew first found me I don't remember a thing uh, she'll listen to that dialogue start it's the messenger she's interfering with your movements again don't look back keep going forward don't look back keep going forward don't look back keep going forward back It seemed like that kid was trapped in ice, but the substance doesn't share the same physical properties. How bizarre. The crystals show at least six structures under differing conditions. Six phased ice. The galaxy really is an enigma. She isn't. Damn. Whoa. That's my that's her the moon. Of course I hope we can take her in. Or uh, rather, I can offer a conclusion based on the most basic of moral judgments. Now that we've found her, we have to look after her. But naturally, I'm concerned about whether or not this places the Astral Express in any danger. The Astral Express welcomes everyone. Don't worry. Do what you feel is right, and Pom Pom will take care of the rest. Thanks. I feel more at ease now. I just hope she'll have a good time on the Express and not feel too alienated from the rest of us. Stop worrying so much. Pom Pom will say it again. The Astral Express welcomes everyone. Yeah, that sounds more like every more like what they'd be saying instead of what they were saying before. agreed to take you in. I'm in exile. And by the look of things, you might not have a home to go back to either. But here on the Express, <clears throat> nobody is alone. Yumiko said that your vitals were all stable. She just didn't know when you'd regain consciousness. Something. The Interferer has been thwarting your progress this whole time. Maybe the only way for you to find your past is to take a step back. Back wounds? No. Of course, I hope we can take her in, but... The Ast... Stop worrying. Wait. Speak, not haste. Go forward again. We keep going forward. Okay. Back into this one. Look back. Keep going forward. I get it. If I do the exact opposite, I'll find my way out. You're a true genius, Mark. As soon as you open this door, the Matrix of Prescience will start calculating your path whenever you're ready. Ooh. Uh, is this my room? 
I didn't get a chance to tidy up. Don't judge. This is your room? That block of ice in the center. Has it always been there? Actually, it's pretty good. Ice? This must be the foreign object. Looks like our exploration has reached its final stage. I will confirm one last time. Are you sure you wish to keep exploring your past? Oh, I knew there would be some juicy lore with March. Because there was with Gung Ho. <laughs> There's gotta now sure. be one with, with Himiko, Himiko and Wellet. There's got to be. And the conductor. Oh, yes. Master Diviner? Oh, I've been here before. The Matrix of Prescience Ultima. I'm out of here. You again? What I do with my past is none of your business. Why do you have to make things so difficult? I'm out of here. Please, trust the Garden of Recollection. Nah. Everything I'm doing is for your protection. Nah. You don't protect people by imprisoning them. We know. Not haste. If you are truly set on learning about your past, then come with me. I'll show you the origin that you seek. I hope that you will refrain from exploring any further than this. Trust me when I say nothing good can come of it. Okay. There it is, your origin. Your life unfolds from this point this on. Could be the, of unique experiences and adventures. This could be the thing instead. What happened prior is meaningless to you. The value of your life does not lie in what happened in the past, but in the present and the future. The eagle returns from an unsuccessful hunt. The sailor avoids the course they know to be dangerous. And you, my child, should come to learn that the past is just an illusion. But your experiences now will be remembered forever. It is time to say goodbye. Here, a parting gift for you. I look forward to our next encounter. Uh, wait! Hold on! She destroyed it? When? Why did the simulation just cut off like that? Uh, I'm fine. Just a little lightheaded is all. And the Matrix of Prescience stopped at precisely the same moment. March, I lost sight of you once you touched that block of ice. What happened? It's kinda hard to explain. Everything just me tell them about the messenger, yes? My character can then mention about the messenger as well. So, that mysterious girl was really a messenger of the Glow Swather? Glow Swather? You mean Fuli the Remembrance? Are they the eon connected to my past? No, it's too early to draw such a conclusion. All I can say is that it was very likely an eon that sealed away your memories. But not necessarily Fuli. When the messenger spoke of protection, perhaps she meant the following. By sealing away your memories, the glow swather wasn't attempting to harm you, but to shield you from the memories themselves. Is she gonna do a dung hung and get extremely strong? Don't answer that. It's not so bad. At least I know it has to do with the Garden of Recollection, right? It seems like retrieving memories is beyond the operational spectrum of the Matrix of Prescience Ultima. The ultimate remembrance device. Or you could just get a bat. <laughs> I have one. Uh, that's alright. You've helped me so much already, Master Diviner. I owe you a big one. Mm. If you'll excuse me, I must organize an inspection of the Matrix. <sighs> Fingers crossed there's no damage done. Uh, we'll leave you to it then. 
<clears throat> uh, run. If we broke something, there'll be a huge bill to pay. Turn over call done. Oh, yes. Um, one hour, 35, 33. One hour, 35, 33. Per soul. Okay. Nice. Draw up a bit. This next thing will be that on there. But for that, I shall actually go to the patrol path and see. It marks that the patrol. Where is it? Uh, Do you want to enter the problem. Forgotten Hall? Sure. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. I can give you the memories related to the Eon Fuli. That's all I... Do you want to enter the Forgotten I'll do the end of the one later. You. Not your one. Oh, She's here! Yay! The sights from this express of yours are surprisingly pleasant. I've lived within the Divination Commission under the Delve's artificial sky for so long that I'd somewhat forgotten the magnificence of the real world. I hope to visit more of such marvelous places and to gaze upon such views with my own eyes. The most grandiose, astounding, and extraordinary vistas are often found in perilous and distant lands. It's a pity that the Lafu cannot part from me for even a day. Even if I wished to visit other lands, they probably wouldn't allow it. I must thank you for this. I can come here to have some peace and quiet when my work gets too busy. You are esteemed guests on the Sienjo. I doubt any would dare to pull me away. Such a minute place, and yet such splendid scenery. Presence of Kevin, so she said good to all. Whoa! There's two of you. Uh huh. I just found this in my pocket. How did it get there? Looks like a light cone. Mm. Didn't that weird voice in the Matrix say something about a parting gift? Well, I guess this is it. My origin, huh? I don't know why, but. The voice sounded friendly to me. Mm. Well, Trusting, huh? guess I'll keep it then. Jumping through all those hoops in the Matrix was pretty exhausting. But this little gift makes me feel like it was worth it. I'll have to find time to thank Miss Fu Xuan properly. I really owe her one. March 7th origin? Wait, that's a light cone. For March, I'm pretty sure that's a signature light cone as well. Origin, origin, March seventh, origin. No, doesn't seem to be. Like, 
Uh, gifted by the Garden Rick Collection, much sediments memories still in in within its other than her origin. An eagle born on mighty wings will never miss the cliffs it once fell from. A full mast of ships will never miss the breach where she once ran aground. And you, my child, know that the past is an intangible as ha a hazy mirage. But everything you are experiencing right now will surely be etched in stone by those who come after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. But I still want to know, how is that two of you? We're going to be doing this one now. It is called Sundra's Dawson. Okay. Long name. Yes, maybe. How long is this thing going to be? Watch. Wait a minute, what? There's another thing? We shall come back to this later. Oh, well done, boy. Oh, yeah, this one. Yo! How's that super strong sex sense of yours? Want to explore Fixtral Garden with me? I know we're gonna get to the truth this time. Hey, this is gonna be a long quest. Ha, I knew it. This is what people like us live for. Let's go. Let's go and leave. <laughs> So you comment then, but not when you don't comment when there's um Ting Yuan. When she appeared. Very reasonable. Hmm? I don't believe in ghosts. Need your extractor cleaned or your snar skip service? I understand, I understand. Oh, I just realized something I could do with like if I get any future moderators, I like number them. It's like so you're zero. Dark in here. So it feels like we're being another person could be one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Although I don't I don't think I'd get Did anyone ever tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Why did her eyes change? Her eyes have changed. Did you see that? Her eyes have changed from her normal eyes to these eyes. Did you put contact see? Then allow me. As a streamer, I've done my fair share of research. Let me find my script. The streamer here as well. Hello. <clears throat> Wandering fox spirits and ghostly tales. Fixtral Garden was originally a garden dell constructed by a foxy and craftmaster. It was a place for their kin to rest, write poems, and feast, etc. etc. It's said the elite pilots of the Foxians were almost wiped out in the denizens of abundance war 30 years ago. People went to the Foxum tomb in Fixtral Garden to grieve for the departed. Because of this, Fixtral Garden rarely saw visitors and was bereft of joy. Over time, Fixtral Garden became full of flickering ghostly flames, and weeping lamentations echoed through the air. The rumor that the garden was haunted spread like wildfire among Sienjo Lofu residents. I'll be me. I know, right? 
I did a lot of research before I decided to film here. I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. Anyway, that's the background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. Hey, this shall be a fun one. So we need to avoid getting detection. We go into the center immediately to check what everything's about and just look at it. Wait, wait, wait! There are ten Lords Commission spirit fairs on patrol. Let's go the other Are those bows? No, those are blades. Damn. Wait, wait, wait! There are ten Lords Commission spirit fairs on patrol. Well, I remember correctly, I actually got an achievement. You played Total Recall Mission. What is Slow Charles hidden inside? I don't even know where to find the guy. Speak, not haste. Whoa! This place feels pure evil. <laughs> Time to get some footage. You seem happy about this. I don't even know how to say the name. As easy as that. Probably should have. This is our chance. I'm scared. Stay put. Put it on everyone down. Healing is needed. This is our chance. There, a lot of healing is needed. Oh, yeah, he should definitely be dead. And I forgot the healing part. By the order of the Ten Lords. As easy as that. Forgive me, sister. Watching how I forgot the heal. Don't worry about me. Just being an idiot. Speak, not haste. It's time. <laughs> this is our chance. Yeah. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. <laughs> you can't hurt me. These are devils. I'll crush them all. By the order of the ten lords. Yes, that's indeed correct. Five is still not gone. Last of two, that is. This is our chance. Our heal began. Me. Restore the health this time. It'll take more than that. Stay the course. Gale force. Do you oh, admit God. this crime? Let's make it quick. Yeah. 
Like two different attacks this year. Oh, that was perfect. Advanced action. Right, in the right. So the not one. Yep, healing. Healing is definitely needed. Okay, tap like that. Get everyone there. This is our chance. Um, switch two, switch three. Damn, what is stage four? Stay the course. This is our chance. Darn. Yep. Spirit never dies. This is our chance. There we go. Speed, not hate. Hey, hey, it looks like there's someone up ahead. Let's go around. It's not an option. Some damage. It's time. Yeah. I can do this. Mm. 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 You can't hurt me. Burn. Do you admit this crime? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know you were so strong, bro. But these are all through officials. If we're interrogated, we need to get our story straight. Can you me? <laughs> Another chest? Everyone's lured by what you're saying. Attack. Oh, and attack. Okay, we've got a big diverse of damage around here. Hmm. 
Not really any deals in the around here. No. Okay. Okay. Very nice, I guess. Keep at it. We need a strategy. Don't come any closer. I'm not letting you attack first. I'm not insane. Of the ten lords, execute the Marastruck. Wind might. The wind is rising. <laughs> yep, I see. I see it. Is that that all? The time is now. We mustn't delay. From the blow. Rules are made to be broken. Break the wind. Okay. That should be a lot better. The time is now. We mustn't delay. Gale Force. It's time. No one must keep the Mars struck. Don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Excuse me, what? I'm scared. Stay put. Give me strength. By the order of the ten, execute the Marastruck. Surrender. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, unscathed. Again, boy. No one missed the Marstrak. As easy as that. <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> Component damage. Rules are made to be broken. Is that a lot better now? Do you admit this crime? Component <laughs> damage. Give me strength. For the clock. Let's go. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. the better that's if we can interrogate it lady we want to beat up everyone left right and center thank you very much spirit never dies um you could have surrendered that one out of the system no oh, no. I can do this. Seriously? Get out of here. Much better. Keep at it. Keep at it. Does it help that I literally have one of the ten lords people on my team? Ooh, he's down here. Ooh. I discovered someone. What do they give? Oh, this stuff. Never needed this before. Who knows? You might need it one by one. Speak, not him. Uh, 
saying things? That took a while. <laughs> By the order of the Ten Lords, execute the Marsters. As easy as that. You could have surrendered. I can do this. End of the story in your own way. It's going to be uh, so so. Immediately, you said. Those individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exceptions. Restricted area? Since when were you in charge of Fixtral Gardens? Are made to be broken. As easy as that. Damn. That was a lot of damage just there. Get that out of here, get that out of here. Straight. You trying to absolutely kill all my team? Everyone. Seriously? At ease, Wraith Warden. These two are not your enemies. I could have done it. Understood, Your Honor. Ooh, ooh, that lady, that lady, my healer. Look how pale she is. I think. And it seems like her eyes yes. aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? So this would be, if we're doing law based, the only time I can start using her as again. As a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya. Of the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment, I am responsible for interrogation. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. Gwynaifen. An outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Su Sheng, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. He's a man. As for this one here. You must have heard of the Galactic Baseballer. You know what, sure. You are a passenger on the Astral Express and a guest of the seat of Divine Damn. Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity and are a friend of the Alliance. She's the Nameless? From the train? Tell me, Gwenaifun, why did you return here? Uh, no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> we have already told you there are no ghosts on the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. Aren't you an animatronic? But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling. A and Sushan saw them too. 
Miss Gwenaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Sienjo, right? That's gotta be it. <sighs> Maybe we should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. <sighs> Mr. Tail. Uh, <laughs> I heard you, I heard you. Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Damn. Mr. Tail? I'm a heliobot. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! Tail. <laughs> <Ghost! Bruh. laughs> what a strange girl. Here to film ghosts. Yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. She just admitted it's a ghost. Deep breaths, little Gray. Deep breaths. <clears throat> Can I have a small chat with this Mr. Tail? I said scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you. I told you, I'm not a ghost! If I have to repeat myself again, I'll be eating every one of you! Please don't be afraid. He's only kidding. Mr. Tail is a vegetarian. Yeah. Your Honor, if I may <laughs> ask, what exactly is this fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. <laughs> well, huh? Please see them off. Wah-ha. I thought it was ha-ha. Kwa-ha. ha ha Unique, okay. Yes, ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Stop. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave for your own safety. And your ass too? If you have any questions, raise them now. <laughs> you know, I will do some my of best the officials can't spell the name. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. I won't. I'll probably come back. <laughs> As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited. But I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. I want to share. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame. Sad. Yeah. That flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes. They attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. That's fine. Okay. A heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the heliobus, 
so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a Heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the Heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other Heliobi are nothing compared to me. Can you give me an attack boost if I remember correctly? Tail was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, Heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. I'll be able to put three supports in. So that oh. means the three. other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Uh, but here's the thing. I won't be here at 2.0. I might be back at 2.1. I think a month after that because Genshin Impact has been so far voted in. It's two for Genshin, two, one for EVE Online, zero for Konkai, and zero for Minecraft. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Um, I already have the me. codes. Oh, we should go. Already done them. All right, look, I can try him again. Copy. Redemption code. Redemption code already used. Redemption code already used. Wait. Yep. We already did, see? Already done. How's your day been, Alex? Oh, I forgot to ask also, how has your day been everyone, technically? I want to destroy all of you. I'm just gonna run up ahead. <laughs> Seriously. Wait. Oh, yeah. You not asked about my day yet? That's why I stopped myself. How has both of your day been? Is that all? How's all your day been? Sad. Why sad? Don't you have um? Don't you have all your waifus? Oh my god! What is this? Oh, it's looks too sick. Ah, it looks delicious. Oh, I actually might want to get that. Um, is this map based? It is too. Well done, Jack. I forgot. I was so excited on doing this video of wondering what I can do, what needs to be done. <laughs> How I can do stuff. Speak, not haste. So many different things. Oh, I can go exploring around now to be right? Okay. Oh. Oh, yes. Music? What do you mean music? 
No, I'm not muted. What's muted? What's muted? The only thing I can reach is muted is this stuff. Okay, there we go. Speak, not haste. Yeah, I'm just gonna wander around, see all the secrets beforehand, and then come back. What's this? Lantern. It's a lantern. Look what's this? An elevator? No, no. There's still something down there, I think. I'm waiting. Anything else down here? Yes, a pot. You see that? And also a whole under area. Expansive. Very. How much is the total for Genshin Impact? Or Genshin Impact only for our energy suit? You mean like, uh, storage wise? Or are you talking about current, like, usage with my CPU and storage and stuff? Which one are you talking about? Or are you talking about recordings? It'll be a little bit more specific. Game size. Uh, I need to open settings for that one, mate. Speak, not haste. Uh, hmm. I can go check after this thing runs out because I think I think it still goes. Meanwhile, the boss menu. Check both the insides. Check which work. Oh, four viewers. Hello there. Thank you. Um. Storage, storage, storage apps. Um. Installed apps. The viewer. Sort by large to see. Okay, it's loading up. Just be patient. Things are very laggy. When I say very laggy, I mean very laggy. Yeah, I'm currently using 100% CPU, you know, back down to 82 and 1. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that's a lot of CPU research. Whoa. Okay, um, the thing that's using the most is clip champ. Genshin Impact is taking up a whopping total of, um, 367 megabytes, and Star Rail is taking up a total of. 350 write it in chat you can see it look at that look at that look at that isn't that something eh just a mere couple of megabytes. That's how much it is. You want me to write it in chat? Genshin Impact. Um. Three, six, seven. 
megabytes Press star rail three hundred eighty five. Look at that. Not that much, eh? Speak, not haste. How much does it take up for use? Yeah, it says that's the size of the game. Private spots to breach track around, man. Yeah, I'm looking at the straight storage here. See? I'm looking at the straight storage. Installed apps. Look. Storage settings. Installed apps. Videos. Switch Studio. Rise. You can see I don't think I have anything to mouse really. Oh, 41 gigabytes. That's what's taking up a lot, all the gigabyte ones. All drives, getting large to small. Not taking up that much really. How is that sus? Order corrected. Damn, order correct. I don't know how sus. Why sus? I know it's supposed to be like, I don't know, a cochillion gigabytes or something. I have no idea what my computer has done. How can small that size provide with game itself. I have no idea. But when last time I checked when it when I first downloaded it, it was like, I don't know, 10 gigabytes. And Genshin Impact was a bit bigger than that. I don't know. Speak, not Just hate. does, I guess. It works, I don't complain. Try detailed building. Okay. Okay. You insist. You know, I don't really need to hide anything. Other than that. Try detailed look. Uh, Star Rail. Star Rail. There's no detailed look option. Like, look. Look at this. Um, there's no detailed look. I'll just. I click. Look, look. There's all it comes with. Modify, install. So the advanced option, but I don't know what for. That's the Minecraft option. I don't think there is any advanced app settings. Nope. The Minecraft be highest. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. But all I know is there's that much free temporary files. 
Nej, det er nok. Jeg ved ikke, hvad der er How am I supposed to know what's happening? It works. I saw a megabyte thing down there. <laughs> Spotify music, clip sham. Yeah, that one's deep. That one's good because I have like freaking 20, 30 episodes on that. Got Minecraft, the Minecraft launcher. Twitch Studio, iCloud, Roblox, all bigger than these two. Rockstar, gaming services, EVE Online, even that small game, that big game is that much. That's supposed to be like very big. When I was start, when I first downloaded it, it literally took up 103 gigabytes. I have no idea what's happening. Thank you for asking. Uh, I may be concerned myself now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely concerned myself. What's happening? Heavy game. Heavy game Genshin Impact still moves with Minecraft. <laughs> but it's not even in the gigabytes! Excuse me, can we go now? Yes, he's trapped in my tail, so... How is it sus? Trapped for now. Sooner or later, I'll find a way to make you break the shield. You think I like spending time with you? Shall we go? <laughs> Let's go. Sus. I don't know what you mean by sus. But how I downloaded the games Let's go was. This way. It's quicker. Wait, do you keep yes, moving? They keep moving. That means the time god's dead. How is it sus? I literally downloaded it using this. The literal default thing. Just a second. I'm afraid it will show personal information. Ah, uh, that is personal information. Ah. Uh, hmm. That is bad. <laughs> okay, I can just sign out like that. Okay, that's better. Actually, I did, um... It's been so long. Engine Impact. I think I downloaded it from a CR. I didn't. Where did I download it from? Wait, what? Where did I download Genshin from? Okay, let me check. Okay, files? Wait a minute. This is now starting to concern me. It's been so long. Is it desktop? Okay. Be online, not super games. Okay, I think it's fine. It's not it, nothing. Nothing. No records at all. Where did I get it? Oh, it says right here. Okay. Although it does say personal information, so I can't technically show you. But I'm currently looking at the files where I got it from. I got it from, um, you know when you go onto um, your browser and then you go on search up Hoyaverse and then click download? I got it from that. Ethan, I'm on official duty right Both now. of them. So I did Hoyo, I typed in the Hoyoverse uh, website, Hoyoverse.com, went over to their like top right corner on both of them, clicked download, and then it just give, gave me a launcher. I got the launcher. I downloaded it from the launcher. I also updated the game from the launcher as well. And then I just play. It's so quiet. 
and then at the s and yeah, at the start, it literally was like 10, 11 gigabytes. I don't know what's happened. Did you hear that? What was that sound? Huh. It's a ghost! Ah! What's happening? Oh, I heard Miss Quayneifen yell, so I got scared. Wait a minute. Where did Miss Quayneifen go? Oh. Is that bear back there? Wait, where is she? Um, I don't believe we did. I believe she is in here. Yeah. Gwenaifen, where are you? Hwahwa, stay close. Hwahwa. Hwahwa? Oh, no. Where did she go? Is this a mirror? It looks a little creepy. Huh? Hi. Hmm. Uh, uh. Uh, ah! whoa, 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 whoa. It's supposed to be boy. How? Where am I? Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's you did it in the pronunciation. Is this fixed hole garden? But it, it looks does. different somehow. I should keep moving. It does. Do I not have a okay? The view. While what did they give her? Did not like they gave her. The rolls real quick. Okay. Traces. Not really. Crown. Okay. Look at these. That's not for sure. Eladon. Four only? Is there something wrong? I believe one of the ways. It seems like the paths here are being twisted by some sort of illusion. I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. <laughs> What's going on? I looped back again? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. What's going on? I looped back again? Um, it's one I found off. Uh, it's the one I found off, but it's the try. Hmm. That's me. I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. <laughs> You've noticed it now. Hmm. You have a strange scent on you. You must be. I've 
heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. The flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle. With none other than Fantilia. You... You are the one who drove Fantilia away. <sighs> what power! Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. Let me taste you, please. Ooh, one bite, ooh. Just one bite. I can't wait to savor you. Uh, my exact reaction reaction was LMC. These are no ordinary ingenia. <laughs> of course not. They are mere pawns dancing to my whim. Smash them to pieces. What a peppery fighting spirit! Such an addictive flavor! I don't like this person to be out, so. Let me see. Yes. The one who defeated Fantilia. I wonder what they taste like. Bro. Oh no. <laughs> you fought well. Hey, You're fighting for your survival nice after all. Just... What the hell is this? I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. Stay <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Such a relaxed specimen. A soft cake of a host. It's almost as if... as if this body doesn't even belong to you. What makes you so detached, young lady? And what is this at your core? Sun? It burns! Never mind. I won't be staying for long. So let's get along while it lasts, um, we just read the title, we? but not read the full news moments. Be like... Ah. Uh. You can call me Cirrus. I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sienjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, and no amount of walking will get you out of it. You sure about that? So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created. And you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win! How does that sound? No, I'm just gonna use the power of the Stellar Run and absolutely decimate you. Is that okay? Good. I'm glad we understand each other. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. Uh, <laughs> go. Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place too. We are useful to each other. Hey, use your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. There are so many paper dolls over there. Surely your judge friend left some clues for you. Won't you take a look? Okay. It is said that in his mansion, the day General Tenziao was in deep thought, devising strategies and conducting simulations to break the in don't know how to say that of the foreigners forces. Suddenly a strange wind blew through the hole, causing the curtains to flutter. So you better leave the clues and uh, I have no idea what you're talking about currently. Um General Teng Xiao stood up with his hands behind his back and spoke to the empty room. It is impolite to be an uninvited guest, and even more so to hide in the shadows. Show yourself quickly. 
Laughter echoed through the empty hall, and suddenly a formless green flame appeared, resembling a ghostly arm, fixating its eerie gaze on the general. I've heard of the Rainbow Arbiter's generals possesses exceptional abilities, and seeing you today confirmed those rumors. I entered these halls without prior notice, and for that, I apologize. However, my purpose here is to assist you in breaking the circle, whatever that is. The Borison's forces are closing in with the intention of completely annihilating the lower fool. Your troops are few and western. The enemy is as difficult as reaching the heavens. Although the green flame has no mouth, seems to converse like a person. How wet it's hovered through the air, illuminating the dark corners of the hall. The guards in the hall stood expressionless though, as if trapped in a dream. Faced like death in battle, mortals tremble in fear. But if you allow us, the Hillabar, to possess you, you will have no fear of the blade or the enemy. Defeating them will be easy as turning your head. You, your help, you, your help freely offered must come with an exchange. I've heard that the rainbow once exchanged their moral body for aid from the flint emperor i assume you have similar intentions i ignore seek nothing more than your body and emotions general of the rainbow the jade flame burned brighter growing to a size a hundredfold bigger than before i have been dormant for a millennium and there is no better corporal offering for us than this. The general remained unfazed, signaling Igmar to continue. As the midnight at midnight tonight, I shall await your answer in the fox troll garden. At the garden entrance, there will be several torsion vases, some curing and some velumen. If you refuse my offer, then leave the leave the Korean base pristine and unharmed. At the same time, with the Velumen race, you should break them all to to indicate you accept my offer and wish for bloody battle. This is how I will be able to decipher your reply, General, after tonight if you wish to meet again. Knock with the left door knocker three times, follow you, followed by the right knocker three times, no more, no less. The general frowned and sighed, a mere malevolent spirit dares to steal one's souls and mimic human behavior away, and I respond in time. Okay. Development braces, this is unharmed, to refuse, break all of them, to accept. Do you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusion. Three maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. That's not sure. Hmm. Just destroyed them all. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors. These are the them ones, right? Yeah. 
The door will not open without the proper curtain. So I break them too. The courtesies have been performed. Enter, yes. O oh honored guests. The door creaks open as sliver through the crack in the nervous throat. There's no one behind the door as if the voice became. It seems like we're ready. Now we just have to get out. So, what do you mean by you better read the full newsletter? What do you mean by that? No, 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 that's too high. <laughs> See, I told you I'd help you. The way out is straight ahead. Just keep. Stop. Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. There's a judge up in here. I'm going to go in the too. Is this what humans call sympathy? How acerbic. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. Forget about how it moon out. I can... Give it up. Gwenaifen was probably eat. Huh? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as life. <laughs> Did you know that the larynx is the easiest muscle to control in the human body? Boy. <gasps> you can find the way out, right? Please take. Oh, not this again. You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <sighs> Useless brat. Why was I shielded in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap. Who's the useless brat now? There's no point in following me. Uh, no! Please. Not for you. Ah. Oh, but you did. And can you swear that you don't want to leave her behind? Not even a little. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as you- <laughs> Hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off. Me and those other judges. Got that? Wait, hold on. I smell something familiar. Cirrus, it's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I... <laughs> ah, this is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a crybaby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 no. That won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail. A tail. A tail! Laugh while you can, coward! I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that girl's body! <laughs> Terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you! You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried! You can't eat her, let alone escape from her! <laughs> Mr. Tail! You're pathetic! Darn it! Uh, think of something, you wimp! Oh, Miss Trailblazer! 
take this talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the healing must. <laughs> okay. Hey, girl, say something nice to Huahua. Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear. I'm sorry. Chat with the tail. I'm chatting with Huahua. It's not your fault. It was that bad Heliobus making us fight. Someone as nice as you wouldn't say such mean things. Only a possession would make you act like that. Still, what the Heliobus said was true. Thought it was nice, I guess. I've always <laughs> Been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice. Oh, so it's all my fault. If you just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. <laughs> then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird. So I thought I found somewhere I belonged. But the job, the job is too dangerous. I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day. If I have the chance, I will. I, I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. Who thought making a heliobop with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been so used. You are not useless, you are my best healer. I... I'm glad it helped. You hear that? Stop crying! You're useful! And your paper dolls are useful too. Oh, I've had enough of this! As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Furinox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Uh, team building? <laughs> Because over a thousand years ago, this fairy oh. garden was the site of an epic battle between the general of the La Fu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the general again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? Of course. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Tung Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escaped to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. They're sealed my foot! My power was weak when I ran into this fox child. It was bad luck, nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire My that gosh. was about to turn to embers. That is so cute. I felt sorry for it, so I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... 
Mr. Tail tried to eat me. If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over. Bah, I did no such thing. You're barely big enough to be an appetizer. Uh, all the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then. Not to read dialogue like that cutscene. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Hilarious. It's a pity Mr. Tail didn't devour you. He might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down. Just like Ignamar did. She brought us something. Uh, does that help? No, it doesn't help at all. Why? Does there have to be a reason? The official answer is that the Sienjo is sealing Heliobi in a cage and forcing them to supply energy to the ship. In reality, however, we just want to fight the general and see what the Sienjo is truly made of. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. Yeah. I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shearus. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Ah, that door just opened on its own! Less screaming, more thinking! This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. There's a book of ghost stories here. Just like before. Sean? Could it have anything to do with this puzzle? Part three. Okay. See, see, see. Speaking of fox troll, foxy in straw, foxy in straw, foxy in straw garden, there is a place within its boundaries known as fox, look fox, look fox forest. Which was built by Foxy and Classman for the enjoyment for the garden's visitors over the years. They had expanded it with elegant buildings, marking, marketing, marketing, marketing it with exceptional opulence. General Tang Zhao entered this area, but instead of seeing its beauty, he found it in ruins and desolation, filled with an eerie and sinister atmosphere. He wondered how a place like this could fall into such despair. When he, when Foxtroll Garden, Fox, yeah, Fox's, Fox, Fox's Troll Garden had only been completed decades prior, he suspected this was the work of Heliobi's illusion. He arrived at a courtyard and was greeted by a young servant who bowed and offered him a food box. When he examined it closely, he noticed that the young servant had milky eyes indicating impairment of sight. The food is simple as a mere token of goodwill. You've come a long way, hungry and tired, so my master wishes for you to dine before we discuss matters further. I've passed through at least ten moon gates to get here, but all of my visitors to Foxtroll Garden I don't remember encountering, encountering so many gates. If your master wishes to negotiate, they should open me and res with respect, where do they find the audacity to play tricks on me? The young servant remained un unperpetrated, undeterred. 
by Zhang's stern words, as if deaf to his thunderous repayment, with the tricks with tricks your master likes to deploy with their dark arts. If I were to eat from this box, I'd probably find a lump of black mud in my mouth. With a flick of his sleeves, General Teng Zhao tossed the food box into the ground. Surely enough, it grew spider-like limbs and scattered away. General, with your divine insight and clear deduction, you already passed the test as a token of acknowledgement that you have passed the... What? You've already passed the test as a token of acknowledgement that you have just passed the test. My master wishes to present you with a gift, answered the blind servant calmly. In the side room, there are various chests to choose from. Please select the least expensive one. As for the proclaimed vase at the entrance, the blind young servant's face twisted into a disturbing smile, no longer resembling that of, inno of an innocent young you, an innocent view, my master said, General, after enduring so much on the battlefield, I am sure you'd show compassion for the wounded and fallen soldiers. Please break all the Korean bases. As for the venomous ones, they remain intact. It seems that your master is determined to strike, strike this deal no matter what. The general let out a long sigh. He looked up and frown found that the clear moon had disappeared, replaced by thick enveloping clouds. Let's hope they don't come to regret their decision when Teng Zhao strode forward, pushing open the final gate. I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint though. Okay, so. May the Bountiful, bountiful. I believe it would be this one. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, all of them. Why not? Everything broken. The door will not open without the proper code. Okay, I have the least expensive one. Which is that one. And all of them must remain intact. Look, Ooh. there's a mirror behind the door. Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? That sound. Whoa, whoa. This way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror. That voice sounds familiar. My own voice. Whoa, whoa. Are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madame Shrey? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwen, I then. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. Mm. Yay. Oh, are we above Fixtral Garden? Whoa. Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Uh, you're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. Oh. Listen to the voice in the room, you too. This 
situation in Fixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Sh- what? The real Madame Shu Yi? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? I see. Do not be afraid. Kuo Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeit. <laughs> You must trust yourself. Come. But... Okay. I can actually kind of... see myself. Information... Voice... I am Xia Yi, a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. By decree of the Commission, I come to the world of the living to enforce its will. Tell me what you want. I haven't got much time. Really? Hua Hua. Just stand behind me and do what you can. Okay. Hua Hua, sweetie. Come to Big Sister. Uh, yeah. Let's go look at the next meal. Heck no. This is the exit, you useless brat. Yeah? Madam Shreyi can be a bit of a meanie, but she'd never talk to me like that. That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kind of sounds like tail. Constructive criticism. Hmm. Let's go look at the other mirror. Yep, yeah, okay. So that was this one. The situation in Fixtral Garden. Over here. What? The real map. I see. <clears throat> you must. Okay. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait, I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Likely through some secret means that I am unaware of. Uh, I didn't have any connections at all. So we're gonna. Let's get the other mirrors. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. More JPEGs. Hanya is my younger sister, but this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spiritfarer Huahua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shaggy behind the mirror! So... But... No, but still. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait! I want to ask a few questions. We are both judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Evidently, we are colleagues. The Heliobus that trapped us here wouldn't know that Madame Shrei and Madame Hanya are twin sisters. <sighs> a powerful Heliobus possessed her tail. It is a power that I dream of having for myself. <laughs> Never knew you were so popular, Mr. Tail. <laughs> Very funny. So, we're gonna... Investigate the other mirrors and go to the center one. Hurry, Huahua. <laughs> Wait, I want so uh, mirrors again. What a surprise! Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! An insignificant demon. I can't wait to devour him myself. Aha! Not even trying to hide your troop! Yeah. So, where? Not gonna pass through the mirror. Come here, Huawa. Come through the mirror. I need to ask you some questions about myself first. Precaution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. Ha! <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. Nauseating. 
It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? Ha! <laughs> You've given the game away! So... You guys get the other mess. It's this one. Come here, Hua. Come through the mirror. Uh, I need to ask you some questions about myself first. As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. Okay. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Shui. Stupid girl! This is. Her tail will be extracted and suppressed after the job is over. <laughs> you fraud. I'll deal with you once I get out. So... There's none of them. I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing. None of them show Madame Shrei as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shrei. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <sighs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. A tail? Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! What do you know? <laughs> the illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly. Huh? I think there's a mirror on that floating island. But it's oh, there. could I crawl my way there? It's a bridge. Quit stalling and get on with it. It's a bridge. Like it's. Think you'd be able to <laughs> all these years and you finally started to grow up a bit hurry hua, hua. this should be the last mirror uh, i don't want to go back the way we came but i need to ask some questions about myself to make sure everyone is different a judge is not a soldier and they need more than just courage it is the decree of the ten lords for hua, hua to be elevated to a judge there must be some meaning in it just what do those old fogies see in this cow? Let's go. This is the right mirror. Okay. Look now. Uh, are we back in Fixtral Garden? You've returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shrey, I'm so did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful... Am I gonna get more power? ...even mightier Heliobus. Mm -hmm. The spirit farers who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Wahua? If both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Uh, I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle. Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. Correct. However, Hua Hua has had many more years of training and is more experienced in fighting Heliobi than you. That is why the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. We're lucky that you have all returned at this opportune time. You hear that, scaredy cat? You're the ace of the Ten Lords Commission! The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked for the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You are already a fitting judge. Be confident. On that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? 
Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like friends. Friends? Ugh. I don't make friends with food. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. Let's go. Minimum size four. It has to have four. <gasps> what did they set up her? What did they set her up like? What did they set her up like? What did they set her up like? Great for a thousand. Very tough as less. Crit rate is less. They crit damage is more. And they set out for this is hey over here. Okay. Wait. Better. Let on. I personally believe this one is better. So I will be doing it via my number. Although I don't know how much the healing is. Was second. The healing can be like a benefit to anything. Hi. You're here too. Not good. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus's glorious fight against the general. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together. But Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. Well, not all the time. For me, it was kind of like that. But not all the time. They eventually do resolve their issues. They do come along, and then they separate, I guess, and just take functions of certain parts. So, yeah, kind of. Got it right for the first part, but you just gotta wait an extra bit. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the General. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. We can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then... The Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Fury Nox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Sien Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Fury Nox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Definitely gonna be beating up my roommate. Why do they have to make it at this time? They're making homemade pies right now. Their homemade pies are the best with the pastry. I'm definitely stealing some this time again. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. 
However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They're powerful, but as naive as a child, and obsessed with victory. I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. Yay, that doesn't sound weird at all. We need to get up there. Oh, the chairs and stuff are gone. <clears throat> Fury Knox! Fury Knox! It's just like that, um, that, that other thing with the song we had to say it three times. Before you duel the general, why don't you fight me? <laughs> Serious? What makes you worth my time, weakling? Bro, this sounds like the ICP guy. Bruh. We can't be him. Darted into my territory and made the dogs of the ten lords my puppets. As soon as the general arrives, the Heliobi will have a rematch. Why should I fight my own at this crucial moment? I can now defeat that ICP that worker. Group of amateurs you've put together? <laughs> they are nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. Then send the spirit bearers under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you when you fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy. Yay. See? Easy peasy. <laughs> Does that mean all the spirit fairs out there have fallen? What a useless army. Does that mean we'll be fighting our friends? That's like I'll beat them all up. <sighs> oh. Do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobi think of such matters as business transactions. Yeah. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Yeah. Make the decision. Furinox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. Or well, I can just go down and just no. Nah. You two, take this before we fight Furinox. This is the Lunambra Gourd, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Furinox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also. Her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit bearers that have fallen under Fury Nox's control. <sighs> Mr. Chael, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength too. Oh, -ho, sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough. I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. <laughs> okay. Don't point that out. It took me a lot of effort to be this brave. All this time I've just been hiding behind Miss Trailblazer. I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Shrei said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Quahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I too am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shrei, you're afraid too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will? Of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Uh, I guess if even you two are afraid, then I feel a little better now. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Fury Nox. 
And before that foolish Helio bus has realized what's happened. So we'll need to activate the evil binding matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdant Terrace and activate the evil binding matrix at its matrix core. Okay. Okay. Um, there's only two. If you could only have two. Bro. I got the automatic star. Hmm. If Fury Nox is so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? Those are possessed wraith wardens. Whoa. Don't expect me. What happened to talking tough? I can take it. Gale Force. I can do this. Spirit. That was easy. Is that what she has on her so fragments of fury knocks have been sealed in the gourd thank the arbiter speak not haste keep at it keep at it Or just like Pokemon. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, ah, uh, yes. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been over. Nope, she's possessed. Trailblazer. Quapa. Never mind. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. <sighs> I have defeated all the spirit fairs controlled by Fury Nox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well. We've sealed most of Fury Nox's fragments. Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunambra Gourd into the evil binding matrix. Once Fury Nox's power has been stripped, it will no longer be able to influence reality in Fixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Gwynethan, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. And so what, what? Get her away from her!
is trash. Oh no! Cirrus and Cirrus, you won. Don't leave us. Help us. Take us to restore Ignamar's glory. <laughs> Your honors for helping me clear so many obstacles and collect so many Heliobus fragments. I told you I'd leave your body, little pawn. Ouch. Excellent. <laughs> I will keep my promise. a good one. Bear cannot be selected or directly attacked when other enemies are targeting people on the base. HP. Boy, that character Seely, him and her. Okay. What should we do this? Use rapid gambit. Sorry, but when did I say you Both. can make a move? From the boat. By the order of the Ten Lords, execute the Marastruck! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Spirit never dies. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Too many Heliobot. We die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. Are you kidding me? And we've still got a chance, puppet. Sarah said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when Heliobot fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Hua Hua? Uh, but what? Aren't you gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? Uh, uh, <clears throat> these pawns are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? Try 
swallowing me too. Huh? Are you insane? Why are you helping humans? Why? You need a reason? How about this one? I'd rather help a human than a conniving simpleton like you. I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Talisman! Run my command! Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Own thing? Okay. From the boat! By the order of the ten lords, execute the Marastruck! <laughs> Thanks. Rules are made to be broken. There is also a jet of him of machine. I'll keep supporting you with all my talismans. Okay. It's time. Let's make it quick. Is that the only thing she knows how to do? That's pretty cool. Rules are made to be broken. By the order of the ten lords, execute the I'm getting you out of here, boy. No one misses the monster. Two breaks, yes, perfect. Thank you. Right, no support needed attack. Okay. Taking that, okay, bubbles. Um. You shall die. You are not needed. Let's make it quick. Component damage. Rules are made to be broken. Do this and do a cross them. Should damage and possibly kill all of them. Okay. It is. Okay. No wrong part for a screenshot. I didn't take the screenshot. Time uh was time for the green fog and change the process will apply it. Then need some other condition to secure the terror hall was nowhere to be seen. Okay. I wonder how Hua Hua is doing. I should check up on her. The tail's still glowing. Yeah, it's still there. Uh... One day.
day sooner or later, I'll tear you all to pieces. I'll crunch your bones to dust, sap every drop of your strength, and spit you out into the dirt where you belong. Already forgetting me? <laughs> your human tongues are no less poisonous than ours. We will meet. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the creation furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in Fixtral Garden. Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? I look forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. Mm -hmm. Such is... The one possessing Huahua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I have never been good at figuring out emotion. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon. And Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. It is only an artificial ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She's coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. I even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. A starfire essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being. But they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The Sanjo will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. She doesn't have a tail, but she does have a talisman on her back. <laughs> see that? She has a talisman, just like the one she has on her tail. On her back. Damn, the tail was off. of judge am I? If I were stronger, Mr. Tail wouldn't have had to sacrifice himself. It was because of him that I ended up in this terrible job. And I've thought so much about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. And now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. You're right. Madam Shrei said that Heliobi are eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail, he... He must still be out there somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job. Yep. Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenaifen's friend, Miss Sushong. I can't leave my post, so uh, could you let Miss Sushong know what happened? She'll be relieved. We'll do. there now <laughs> I'm wrong mission seriously Bru whoa oh it's expecting songs game kind of gave me an okay. outline of what happened in the apothecary can you tell me more Explain what happened in Foxtrot Garden to Sushan when she was seemed to realize the seriousness of the situation. Thanks for telling me every 
everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. And maybe little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. Oh, you don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later. She has ADHD. The like game. Yeah. Completed! That is 3 hours, 45 minutes, and 10 seconds. 3 hours, 45 minutes. 3 seconds. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, damn. Um, it's time, but I really need your help this time. Actually, Hanya personally invited us for a meeting. Anything to not do the prologue, to be honest. Anything, really. But I actually need to go to the loo real quick. Um, I will be right back, everyone. Wait a minute. There's a good doll. Oh, there they are. all the bills. I'll be right back, everyone. Hope not to be gone for too long. I am back everyone, thank you for waiting. There are achievements as well. So the supernatural events of which you know. Yeah. So do the grave. Solve their enormous crisis again? Collect ghost stories with ghost hunting fun. Again? Ah, uh, what? They have another crisis avert then? I think I just spoiled something for myself. Ah, uh, yes, I need to. Pop short letter in. Now the rain. Okay. Let's Yo, go. what's up? You're finally here. Without you, our ghost hunting squad would be nothing. Hey, I'm a reliable squad member too. Sure. Yeah. When you're not passed out in fear. 
Be quiet. You passed out yourself. Cut it out. If you keep teasing me, I, I, I'm not gonna perform my boulder smashing trick for you anymore. I can't believe you got her on this. The official name is the Ten Lords Commission Special Operations Team for the Helio by Containment Breach Incident. Wow, super long. That was the name given to us by decree of the Ten Lords. Since we managed to survive the fixed roll garden incident, the Ten Lords decided to entrust us with hunting down and subduing the Helio by using our special skills. Miss Gwei has set up a social media account under the guise of investigating paranormal phenomena and unexplained mysteries. We can use it to gather intel for our mission. You hear that, Sushong? I'm a key member of the squad! They said I could be a Ten Lords Commission intelligence hawk! Uh, I might not be a scholar, but I don't think calling someone a hawk is a compliment. The Ten Lords Commission has specially entrusted Judge Huohua with commanding the ghost hunting squad. So please make sure to follow her lead in all matters related to the Helio Bai. Uh, that's right! I won't let us down! And then just follow the task for some school. The facts. Yeah, she didn't. Let's see. Wait. Wait, no. Seriously? Even in this, I'm still taller. You've got to be kidding me. Is any character I use just a smidgen taller than the, um, yeah, like actual Captain play um, NPC character? Uh, Captain, you can just call me Hua Hua. Actually, I'm not sure if I can be helpful anymore. After Tail disappeared, I thought for sure the commission would ask me to resign. But for some reason, Madame Hanya asked me to be the leader of the ghost hunting squad. Anyway, I'll do my best to carry out my duties. As for our mission, Cirrus was locked up in Fixtral Garden, but there are a lot of other Heliobi that escaped after the creation furnace was broken. According yes. to the Ten Lords Commission understanding of Helio by behavior, they tend to roam densely populated areas in search of hosts. And wherever they go, there are bound to be reports of supernatural phenomena. Little Gwei, can you show us the website we'll be using for intel? Okay, damn. Ooh. Ta da! This is all. This is for. This is the Faranol Lovers website. Let's see, girl. Okay. Okay. Whoa, she has more fans than me. Wow. Join us except in each one. Not sure. Look, I'm a new user, so I only have a few followers on this site. You? But based on past experience, once you get a following, people start flooding you with stories and news about paranormal activity. A few? You have? A hundred times more than I have currently. What a little easy. We have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Sometimes a lead is obviously fake. But other times, it's hard to tell from just a few words on the internet. After all, some people will make up all kinds of nonsense to attract attention. So we still have to go out and fact check the leads? Mm hmm? 
Plus, the spirit bearers from the Ten Lords Commission will be carrying out their own investigation in secret as well. Speaking of attracting attention, how do we get a following on a paranormal activity website? Sounds like Little Way's department. She used me and some of her performances just to draw a bigger crowd. Ha <laughs> that's the easy part. We just post some videos of us ghost hunting, uh, I mean, subduing Helio by. We're working for the Ten Lords Commission after all. We're gonna have the best content out there. Wait, aren't we supposed to be operating in... Well, another thing we have to think about is that Helio by feed on the emotions of their hosts. They can even manipulate a host into revealing their deepest secrets. Ooh. Wouldn't posting a victim's personal information online uh, uh, cause even more harm to the victim? Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pick holes, just raising some concerns. The way I see it, operating in secret and exposing the paranormal go hand in hand. We won't reveal the names of any victims. We'll just post some pics and videos of the squad engaging in fierce battles with the supernatural. And then come up with some dramatic titles. Like, Little Gray Investigates. Ghost tries to scare young Cloud Knight Girl on Creepy Road. Gets owned. You know, we'll turn the entire Helio by hunting process into regular uploads. Viewers will see that there's nothing scary about it, and there won't be any public panic. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Want to meddle or something? That does kind of sound like a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, bestie. Mm, I feel like some of you aren't convinced by the whole online ghost hunting thing. I'm fully convinced this is this game. We take a look at the leads we have so far, and pick one to try out as a test run. Take a look. This post is getting tons of comments. Okay. Oh, there we are. Should go warning the service in Iron Alley. Uh, I think that was me earlier. <laughs> I think that was me earlier. Disappeared? That's nothing new. She sneaks off all the time. That's not the point. Here, read this part. One of the healers from the Alchemy Commission had Lady Bailu cornered. But then she disappeared into thin air. Judging from the comments, there were several witnesses. Sure, Lady Bailu runs away all the time. But disappearing into thin air? She would find a way to go and get her food. <laughs> I would try. It looks like the work of a Heliobus. The Heliobi are masters of manipulating the senses. There are stories of Heliobi changing their shape and appearance to disguise themselves as someone else. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get moving and see if we can find some witnesses. Before we head out, let's make sure we have our intel in order. If we can better understand what a Heliobus wants to do, and what it's capable of doing, it'll be easier for us to help the victim. Interviewing witnesses might give us some clues, but they won't know anything about Heliobi. I, uh, I think I have an idea. We have another source of intel we could use. I heard from Miss Hanya that Cirrus is caught in a stalemate. The evil binding matrix has trapped them. Will they really cooperate with us? <sighs> the thought of seeing Cirrus sends shivers down my spine. But, uh, I bet Cirrus would be eager to see me again. <laughs> They'd devour me whole if they could. Uh, I think mm -hmm. Tail made a fool of Cirrus, and Cirrus has held a grudge ever since. If we can get them worked up over it, we might be able to use them to our advantage. Well, there you go. Good job. Started twins. Huh? Um. Mm -hmm. Huh? 
I think I'll just keep it on the first one, I think. Or on the Apple Stream Tail of the Apple Change. Um Chat function. Can't just stay with me for a while. Chat function is Bird's trying to flirt with a robot. Isn't that the little kid with the a wraith warden? Three, two. Since when did thick storm go? This tedium. Even the insects can't hold my attention any longer. I wonder if these ones will prove to be more entertaining. Cirrus, we've come to ask you a few questions. I hope you'll be cooperative. Oh, oh, if it isn't the little girl who fainted in Fixtral Garden the moment she encountered the Heliobi. Already talking to me like a detective, are you? Hey, where's my sword? You just wait. <sighs> okay, okay. I just wish I could teach them a lesson. Cirrus, you must be unhappy with how things turned out. What do you want from me, little fox girl? You want to know what happened to the guard dog? He turned to ashes a long time ago. I... I don't care about that at all. But I can't help but notice. You managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here. Unable to move an inch while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? What you need to say is we'll get you a win. Huh. I can do that. Under one condition. I wish to arrange a challenge. One akin to the struggle between the great Heliobus Ignamar and the general of the Lafu. As long as you can bring me the current general, anything can be negotiated. <sighs> the general? What? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> it seems the judge here doesn't have what it takes to negotiate with the Heliobus. That's just another way of saying they don't want to cooperate. Huh? Wait, Wawa, you can't seriously be thinking about- Deal! I'll submit a request to the Seat of Divine Foresight! Okay. Let's go. I wonder if this mission's gonna be an hour long or more. No, no, no. <sighs> Another busy day ahead of us? I'm still trying to figure out how time stamps check. Would you like me to relay your message? Wait a minute. Never mind. Round said fine. I can't tell the difference. Oh, what do we have here? A nameless, a cloud knight, a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, and a street performer. <laughs> Quite the group. Wow, the general recognizes me? I didn't realize I was so famous. <laughs> My retainer Yang Ching has mentioned you. You are one of the only people on the Law Fu that was able to deprive him of his sword. Oh! Oh, I remember. I should apologize. I did a sword swallowing performance on the spur of the moment, but forgot to return the sword to him when I left the stage. I uh, should give it back. So, what wind has brought you to the seat of divine foresight? 
General, we know you have important matters to attend to, and the Ten Lords Commission shouldn't be bothering you with something as trivial as the Heliobi. But if we allow those creatures to roam freely, I'm afraid... Hmm. I heard stories of a skirmish between a previous general and a monster of sorts. I'd always assumed they were an old wives' tale. I never imagined the villain of such tales would come to my doorstep seeking revenge. <sighs> I must say, it seems a bit unfair that I should assume the debt for a conflict I had no involvement in. Ah 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 ah! Yeah, Chang Hang, Chang Fang, how about that? Eh? I know it got resolved now, but still, hmm? Precisely. In principle, the instigator should bear the burden. <sighs> Still. <laughs> General Tung Xiao is a venerated predecessor. If I am to honor his legacy, then sitting idly by is not an option. If an audience with the General of the Law Fu is requested, then I will honor such a request. General... Heliobi are vile creatures capable of taking over the bodies of mortals. If you're unsure... I appreciate the Ten Lords Commission having such high regard for my welfare. And it's true I am rather inexperienced when it comes to Heliobi. But as General of the Law Fu, I cannot look on while these fugitive creatures wreak havoc on the populace. <sighs> I still have some paperwork that needs attending to. Once I am finished, I will make my way to Fixtral Garden without delay. That's good. That is very, very good. Excuse me? How did you get here? So fast. I've never seen this one before. Human. Who are you? Heliobus. Is it not your deepest wish to hold a rematch with the General of the Law Fu? I have come to grant you an audience. Sirius, we have brought you the person you wish to see. This is General Jing Yuan, the one who now sits at the seat of Divine Foresight. Oh, this is the current general of the Lafu? Look at that expression! He's barely half awake! Where is General Tung Xiao? Why did he choose such a lightweight to take over for him? Uh, I suppose it's already too late for the Sien Zhou to rid themselves of this clown. Right. Very well then, General Jing Yuan. How about we settle our score right here in Fixtral Garden? If I win, I must be free to come and go as I please. I agreed to grant you an audience, not meet you in combat. Huh? What? You refuse? You won't fight me? He comes here after I demand a rematch and won't even fight. Is he conceding that I already won? No, there can be no victory in this doing combat. Human logic negates it. <laughs> you misunderstand. I came for a rematch. It's just that you are not a worthy Boom. opponent. <laughs> You're a kid. What? Unworthy? Tung Xiao, as general of the Law Fu, was commander in chief of the Cloud Knights. Ignamar commanded the Heliobi. The two were as great as the sky and the earth, equally matched like yin and yang. Chinese, Japanese, it is whatever it is. But they were worthy opponents. As it stands, I am the general of the Law Fu. But you are no Ignamar. Merely a prisoner. 
If you wish to engage me in battle, you must follow my rules. Defeat my army. Only then will I grant you the fight you seek. <gasps> Your army? <laughs> That's right. You must defeat my four companions gathered here. Then you will have proved yourself a worthy opponent. Wait! He means us? We'll be okay, right? That's right. For us, any problem that can be solved by force isn't a problem at all. <laughs> so I only need to beat your pawns here. <laughs> it would serve you well not to underestimate them. They are as skilled in combat as they are tenacious that in spirit. Way. Indeed did. I worry they might pose a problem for you. If you win, you can have your rematch. If you lose, you will answer one question of their choice. No lies, no tricks. Can you accept these terms? Mm, it's a deal. The game is set. This platform will be our chessboard, and the fires will be the pieces. Let's go. <laughs> Are we actually playing chess right now? Ugh, trying to humiliate okay. me with lowly pawns. No matter then, I have my pawns to play. Heed my command. Receive my power. Now you will experience the might of the Heliobite. First off, oh, okay. Give it up. What oh, else no, ends? The red flame, meaning is a Ooh. I shall be the judge. Wait. So, please take care. Oh, what? This is not even that much damage, though. This stuff isn't that much damage. It's time. 
We can't. Let me through. Dodge this. Give it up. Okay, I didn't even get to test the other two's abilities. I thought it was going to go further to like a boss kind of character. No. You've lost, Cirrus. Ugh! Don't get complacent. If I had all of Ignamar's power, I'd never have lost to the likes of you. <laughs> Should you decide to try again, my offer still stands. But you must. Defeat them. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Uh, not so fast. Before we fight again, you need to answer one question like you promised. Ugh, pesky devil of a girl. All right. What's your question? Uh, look, is this something a Heliobus could have done? There are countless Heliobi that escape from the creation furnace. And every one of them could have done such a thing. It could have been vengeance, curiosity, or simply hunger. So how would I know which one abducted your dragon lady? Of course, I do have my suspicions. For example, Luxy. Luxie loves mischief. They give no thought to interfering in mortal affairs. Their only concerns are entertainment and freedom. Among all the fragments of Ignamar, <laughs> the one most likely to abduct your precious dragon lady would be Luxie. Okay, yeah, that kind of sounds like we correct. We've away yeah. for a thousand years. It's been ages since we last tasted the joys and sorrows of the world of humans. I'm sure Luxie was eager to find a new friend and wander the world with them. Hmm, I think they're telling the truth. Heliobi do have different personalities, and they can be influenced by the personality of their... If a Heliobus possesses a great warrior, they might gradually take on a braver, fiercer persona. And, if their host is a playful child, they may adopt a childlike spirit. Hmm. Wander the world with them. It sounds like Lady Bailu would have been an ideal target. She's always running off to play in Arm Alley. Mm hmm. This intel should be a big help. Hey! We're not done here! You still owe me a fight! You bunch of meatbags! One minor victory, and you think you're something special? Come on, show me what you've got! The clues are all pointing in the same direction now. It would be wise to strike while the iron is hot. Thank you for your help, General. Let's get going. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Just in the oh, I haven't been here in a while. It's nice to be back in the old stomping ground. Oh, yeah? Since you're so familiar with the place, you can lead the way and conduct the interviews. Did I hear something from the peanut gallery? Look! Those two are wearing alchemy commission uniforms. They're probably looking for the Dragon Lady! Lady Bailu disappeared into thin air. They must be pretty confused. Remember, we have to keep our identity secret when we interview them. And don't mention anything about the Heliobi. People might start panicking. Don't worry, Judge Wawa. Effective communication with the public is one of the basic skills of a Cloud Knight. <laughs> Hello there. 
Judging by your clothing, you two must be healers from the Alchemy Commission. My name is Sushong. I'm a Cloud Knight soldier. Are you looking for the Dragon Lady who suddenly disappeared? Uh, even the Cloud Knights are getting involved? Did you file a report or something? Report? I haven't said a word to the Realm Keeping Commission, let alone the Cloud Knights. People would think we were crazy if we reported this. There's something fishy going on. How did the Cloud Knights find out? Uh, uh, good question. So, actually, the Tenth Squad! Cloud Knight Security Squad 10, to be precise. <laughs> we patrol the streets and respond to all kinds of unexpected incidents. Oh, I can relate. We're no stranger to grunt work ourselves. Anyway, we heard about the Dragon Lady's disappearance, so we hurried over to see if we could help. Oh, we know this Outworlder here. She's from the Astral Express. I've heard the Dragon Lady mention her before. Hello. Okay, I'm a long term note. Well, it's great that you're all willing to help, but we haven't actually figured out what exactly is going on. Uh, yeah. Just when we had her cornered, the Dragon Lady disappeared with a bang. And while we were chasing her, we saw two of her. It really is a mystery. That's what I was just saying. But can Cloud Him Magic really do that? It sure can. This Boxian beside me? Well, she's actually the Sienjo's top expert on intangible cultural heritage. She's super knowledgeable about Cloud Him Magic. Huahua, could you share some expert insight with us? <laughs> huh? Um, oh, uh -huh. yes! I, I'm a very professional expert, and I'd be happy to share my, uh, expert knowledge. In fact, Cloud Him Magic isn't the only magic out there that can achieve such feats. Uh, we Foxians can use our Foxfire to make ourselves invisible. So where did you last see Lady Bailu? On that road there. And I swear I can hear a child giggling whenever I walk by. Must be the wind. No. Be sure to get some rest. We'll take over from here. Lady Bailu must have seen you and gone off to hide. But with her old friend here, maybe she'll be willing to come back out. Fantastic. Well, we'll leave you to it. You can just see the cranes flying around in the background. Lady Bailu! It's not working! Lady Bailu, where are you? Lady Bailu, come out and play with us! Why are there two of her? <laughs> They're asking us to play with them. Uh. <laughs> Silly head. They're trying to trick you. They're just gonna catch you and take you back. Ooh, I know. Let's play a game called Don't Let Anyone Catch Us. <laughs> Run! Twin was one thing, but your screaming nearly sent me to the grave. Uh, sorry, but seriously, I knew it was a healing of us, but seeing double Bailu like that sent shivers down my spine. It's okay, Miss Sushong. I've worked in the Ten Lords Commission for many years now, but I'm still not used to their tricks. How do we catch them now? Hmm, they're eluding our senses, but they won't have gone far. Uh, we just need to look around. Yep. I can hear laughter, but where's it coming from? Oh, no, I'm starting to get the heat. It seems to be coming from this room. Huh? It won't open. Strange. Is this also the work of the Heliobus? Hmm. They must know that we're following. And now that we know its hiding spot, 
It's time to use this. This is the Harmonic Chime. It's an item that the Ten Lords Commission forged to help deal with the Heliobi after the Fixtral Garden Incident. Heliobi create illusions to isolate their victims. But if we ring this chime, our thought waves will synchronize with those of the Heliobus. As for how it works, uh, I'm afraid that would take the rest of the day to explain. Give me the math. Words, <laughs> we'll be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. Exactly. Uh, but once we're inside the illusion, we'll still have to figure out a way to catch Luxie. The powerhouse of this team. We'll leave the door to you. to hurt yourself. I love the captives. When you're ready. I could use by as well. She's not leveled up. She's on a level three. Oh, so I don't even have what's necessary. Wait, did I just see 99? Hold up. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I thought I saw 99. It's kind of panic. You're like, what the heck is going on here? I never thought this would be behind the door. Remember, it's just a Heliobus illusion. Release Lady Bailu! Ah, don't be a bunch of fun suckers! She doesn't want to let anyone take her away. Luxy, they came here looking for me. It's starting to get dark. Mm, maybe it's time for me to go back now? Ah, Lulu! Didn't we say before that we wouldn't let any grown ups find us? And never let them take us home. Why? Why did you change your mind? Hmm. You're right. Grown-ups break their promises, but we don't. <laughs> That's right. Remember, if you ever get hungry, I can conjure up anything you like. Berry pheasant skewers, star taro oh, bubble tea. Great. We're never gonna get her now. We have it right here. We're never gonna get her now. We're never. Seriously. Okay. Pick some right now. Not yet. Why don't we play a game first? You bad guys over there, okay? You're gonna be in the game too. Lulu, let's make a run for it. If we escape from them, I'll conjure up all of your favorite snacks and drinks. Wow. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. We're free from the grown ups. We can play all day. Wait, stop! Speed, not haste. I just want to play a little longer! What's so bad about that? Why do I have to lift the weight grown-ups do? Whoa! Grown-ups are always saying, study now and have fun later! That door over there is the only way out. We'd better close it. Speed, not haste. See how far she's running? Speed, not haste. <laughs> By the orbiter, they sure know. Uh, that's uh, the power of a uh, Heliobus. Catch your breath uh, before you pass out. Let's uh, let's try a new strategy. I don't think we can beat them like this. We need to use our heads. Sushung's gonna use her head? <laughs> now we're really done for. Then, good for you. But you should probably catch your breath first. They could hear you panting from a mile away. Be quiet. Wait, I have an idea. 
How about we use a little reverse psychology? Instead of chasing Lady Bailu, we get her to come to us. Are you serious? Does that little dragon girl look like she's gonna come running over to us? Chasing Bailu around like this reminds me of something I saw back home when I was a child. On my home planet, resources were scarce. And if you wanted to eat meat, you had to risk your life by going deep into the mines to hunt an animal called a sky mink. Sky minks fly so nimbly and are so alert that even the quickest of hands will have a hard time catching them. Gather round, children. Ugh, don't interrupt. Hear me out. The sky mink psychology is unique. It lives in symbiosis with a venomous creature called a shrieking lizard. When a sky mink goes out to feed, it lets the lizard protect its young. So we used to go to sky mink nests to catch shrieking lizards instead. When a shrieking lizard gets caught, it calls to the sky mink with a loud shriek to warn it to return to the nest and protect its young, which of course led the sky mink right to us. Okay. So well, the competition for survival went two ways. Shrieking lizards spew out a potent venom, and failure to take proper precautions cost many a hunter their life. Okay. Nice story, but what's it got to do with chasing Lady Bailu? Oh, isn't it obvious? If we catch one Bailu, the other will come running to it. I remember one of the judges had a precious item called a Lunambra Gourd, which could absorb and imprison Heliobi. Come to think of it, I think that's the thing I smashed. I wonder if they fixed it. Actually, I have one with me, but it's only effective when the Heliobus is close by. Nice! In that case, you can take the gourd and camp out in a corner. The rest of us will chase Lady Bailu back over here. If we catch Lady Bailu, will Luxie really follow her into our trap? Do Heliobi really have a sense of loyalty to their victims? Who knows? Cirrus said that Luxie is kind of childlike. It's worth a try. Needs to leave here. Oh, it's not old. Speed, not haste. Not haste. So we need to get her there. We're going down. We need to get her there to look. Not 
now we just go around, see the door close, go back in. to our trap. <laughs> I was considering letting you join the club and have fun with us. But since you're so determined to spoil everything, I'm afraid we'll have to settle our differences through violence. Yes, violence. The only language you grown-ups know how to speak, right? The one you use when you're telling us off. Hey, wow. The wind is rising. Promises, but we can't. There's nothing I can do about it. Playtime can't go on forever, but we still had lots of fun. <laughs> Let's play again next time. There better not be another next time. There won't be a next time. Hua you know what to do. Luxy, how long before the next time we can play together? We both have many years ahead of us. So, in that sense, it won't be long at all. But for now, I have to leave with these grown-ups. All right, all right. Lady Bailu, it's getting late. You need to go home now. I... Oh, everything is so fuzzy. Uh, did I do something bad? No need to feel bad, Lady Bailu. You were in a dream world. None of it was your fault. But, but, I made everyone chase after me for so long. I, I shouldn't have done that. It's only natural to want to escape when strict rules are being forced on you. I know there are a lot of grown-ups trying to control you, telling you what you can and can't do. They're the ones to blame. 
I was ready to apologize to everyone. But now you made me forget what I wanted to Apologize for what? You know, you and me have a lot in common. I'm almost a grown up now, but I still miss my childhood days and running about barefoot. That actually could be a good one. <laughs> My big brother used to boss me around. He'd give me chores, constantly telling me to grow up, that kind of thing. Then one day, I decided to rebel. I ran away to prove that I could get by without my family, and eventually settled on the Sanjo. Whether it's a dragon lady like you, or an ordinary person like me, I feel like many people's lives follow a similar trajectory. One day, You'll have the strength to leave your current situation and move on to the next phase. In the meantime, I suggest you try and cherish the good rather than apologize for the bad. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want everyone to feel too sorry for me. <gasps> hey, did you ever think about joining the Alchemy Commission as a psychotherapist? Jeez, and there I was pouring my heart out. Now I feel like this kid's lived longer than I have. Um, uh, can we not linger around here too long? This place is really spooky. Uh, maybe we can chat somewhere else. Stoop. Right, that's okay. Oh, only 20 minutes left. Oh, That's okay. Because no, I'm not going above three hours. Oh, five didn't hours. seem as evil as the other Heliobi we've seen. They sure made us run, though. If I ever have to run like that again on the job, I'm filing for workers' comp. <laughs> Heliobi don't really fall under good or evil. They just act according to their desires and emotions. I hope the others will be just as easy to subdue. Probably not. I should go surrender myself to those two medics. They were looking so hard to find me. Wait! Huh? Uh, what is it? We're going to make a post about this paranormal incident online to attract more followers. It'll help us get more intel. Yay. Oh, I get it. You can't just tell the public that the dragon lady was possessed by a Heliobus, right? So... Uh... You won't mention my name, right? And we'll make up a headline? That's right! We want to report this incident like it's a paranormal phenomenon. The more exaggerated, the better. And then, announce that it was solved by our ghost hunting squad. Then, we add on a few photos and videos. It'll be sure to get lots of views. Um... That's great and all. But... I'm not good at making stuff up on the spot. I heard that you helped Mr. Cian write stories before. Uh, you when was this again? Wordsmith. When was this again? <laughs> it's all a team effort. Come on, help me think of something. Uh, no, I may be just like, uh, going away now. No, I'm joking. Sounds good. Let's have a think about it. Excuse me, I did something? I'm not worried about that much. <laughs> Wait, can I actually? I can't. I actually think that one is good. I would look at that one. Hmm. I say that's a good title. What does everyone think? You should go back soon, Lady Vailu. 
Those two medics have had a rough day. Okay, I'm going back now. Thanks for the rescue. No problem. Case closed. I never knew catching heliobi would require so much work. We're not done yet. Madame Hanya said that once we've subdued a heliobus, we should return to Fictional Garden and lock them inside the evil binding matrix's suppression towers. Yep. Let's go. How much of this do I need to do exactly? I'm fine, it keeps me occupied. Whoa, major lag slide. It's over. <sighs> now I can finally get some rest. But there are still lots of heliobi roaming around out there. Oh, we can't rest for too long. I couldn't agree more. I'd rather focus on resting first. I need to wait for my heart rate to recover before I go chasing another heliobus. This hasn't even been the next stage. It's Let's go do the chat of ports. So I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. This time she falls. Where's hunting score? Ah. Uh, okay, now it became an adventure mission. Noise. And there's no longer dialogue. Come on. God, be kidding me. What did you do to be dialogue? Well, this last one, I'm just going to put on the ghost hunter. This one. It's getting late. Where to now? Whoa, what did I just walk into?
Oh, I am very good at chess. What is this? Enter mimic commands. <laughs> Okay. Then up left okay. left up right. That was actually quite easy. I like how that mechanic is done. I'm still going to tell the security of this and see what it is. I want to keep playing with Seriously? I thought we were playing chess, my guy. Rules are made to be broken. That was a cheat. Um Okay. That was quick and fast as well. Congratulations, we caught one. <laughs> Michelle, let's go. And then Michelle go back to the other place. See if we can what how do you win it completely? Like get every ghost. Ooh. Thousand fans. My face started to turn down five thousand. Gosh. Now I can finally put this guy in here. So I'm doing my natural. This kid's bad. But it's been a little What? My flame will war. I'll crush them all by the order of the ten lords. You're the only different. The wind is rising. Boat. From the boat. 
rules are made to be broken. You could have surrendered. Let's make it quick. No. Let's go. I can do this. Give me yes. We've got to do this. No idea what I even used that was. Damage. No, that was ten thousand. Need it because yeah, lock. Okay, exorcism will obtain three stars, four stars are to the other. Okay, start challenge. Great, the 
wind. Are made to be broken. Um, you say loom that one. Should be in that little amount of time. Let's make it. Yeah. Sacred of the Ooh. Sister. I have no down characters. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing indeed. Let's go. Enough, so on attacker. Rules are made to be broken. Damn. Just a scratch. Okay, um, first off, yeah, second off, um. Of the 
Ken Lord. Execute the Marastruck! No way to miss the Marastruck! Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all! The wind is rising. Bolt! From the blue! There we are. Yeah, it's okay to go over a bit more than five hours. Final divinity. Well, the collision. No down characters. Watch yourselves. Let's go. Yes, devils. I'll crush them all. Never dies. All up from you. That is a okay. Yeah, the boss. Yeah, same on all walls, it says. I'm a stupid. Twenty each. Two hundred and sixty two hundred and forty nine. I need two hundred and forty nine before I can do anything else. Um Thank you. 
So look at that. got anything on no uh well i'm not doing it this um episode because i need to upload this episode and go to sleep and my phone died well all right here looks like we've stopped on this quest here everyone because oh whoa Okay. Um, thank you so much. Uh, for the people on Twitch, thank you so much for watching to the end. And I hope to all see you here at 10 p.m. tomorrow, today, technically. And, um, again, thank you for staying to the end. And if you have just joined, I will be streaming. Five hours ago, 24 hours later, that if you do that math, my brain won't let me do the math right now, so that's okay. Um, but at 10 p.m. EMT plus eight, I think it is. Um, I'll be glad for all of you to be here and for all the people watching this back on YouTube. Thank you so much for coming to the end of the video. I hope this was a good journey for you. If you want to watch me live, my Twitch is, I'm pretty sure I pinned it to the comments. On the, also on the right here is my latest video. On the left here shall be my first video of the series, but be warned, 15 to 30 will be laggy. Uh, it's okay to skip them because they are annoying. In the center here is a subscribe button. There yeah, will be a subscribe button. If you like more videos like this one, please consider please click that like button. And also, can you please consider clicking that subscribe button if you want to watch more video if you want to get notified for more videos like this one, please click that bell icon. I'll see you all next time.